We got a boogie video. Woo. We got, you got to love it. Anyway, it's um, a Caleb Hammer video, actually. it's the, He does audits. And he's an interesting guy. I actually remember seeing him um, on TikTok from a clip that rubbed me the wrong way. And I've grown to enjoy him. The clip was, it was, a, I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like if you, um, you know, don't think or can't have the ability to retire then you shouldn't have kids it was something along those lines and it just felt like very off and i watched uh, the, the full thing and you know he started to grow on me so i enjoy him generally <clears throat> boogie not so much frankly i mean it, this is going to be like it's it's just it's predictable boogie talks about how he doesn't want to make his life drama and that's the, his entire focus his entire thing right now is to just make drama out of his life and milk himself go on and do these performance pieces um he takes pride in it you know from a personal like from a financial perspective it's probably doing well for him so good for him from a respect perspective uh i mean i guess he has none anyway so you might as well i mean yeah i guess it makes sense nobody respects him and ever will again anyway so you might as well just milk it but i personally just wouldn't be able to take the path that he's taking without i just i wouldn't be able to live without dignity i would rather get a real job so whatever let's just start this video and see this basically performance piece on boogie's end of playing it up and pretending he doesn't know what's going on ladies and gentlemen of youtube boogie 290 they come out of lava again through the power that's the part that's like you know it's going to be like a whole performance piece or of the internet i'm an old school youtuber that was like one of the first to the market going back all the way to 2006 is when i started my youtube channel where are you based out of these days i'm living in fayetteville arkansas which is where i've been for 25 years wow. so that makes like so you didn't do the standard like oh things are starting to work in youtube let's move to la or i know that was a huge was, thing a few years ago. i was really tempted to well yeah, was that a big thing when he was doing content though? And what was he gonna do in LA? Like, collab? Who was he gonna collab with? Maybe he could have collabed with an OF girl, like Amaranth. I don't know. But as I said back at the time, I was LA poor, Arkansas rich. Now that's changed a lot because Northwest Arkansas has the University of Arkansas, go Razorbacks. We have the home offices of Walmart, and Walmart did this really smart thing where they told every business, if you want to sell at Walmart, you have to open an office in Northwest Arkansas. So there's like 2,000 like, offices, true, small or? businesses built. We're the home of Tyson Foods. So if you're eating chicken in America, you're probably like the chicken sending, that, sending that money back home to us. Okay. And we're the home of JB Hunt, one of the largest trucking companies. And because all of those companies- So basically what he's saying is he's trying to say that there's a lot more money in the area now. So it's become more financially competitive it's basically getting gentrified is that the point he's making companies are there including the razorback games and all of this other stuff you have the the walmart children uh the children's of sam walton spending money on the area it's become a really expensive area to live in unfortunately yeah well that's the home of all that but sadly to be blunt you're kind of the home of i think what every youtuber fears right yeah yeah the decline right. i think you went you went from if i'm not mistaken millionaire correct a technical I was, millionaire. I was close. I was really, really close. At one point, I had, and I mean like for two days, when yeah. I say close, for two days, I had about $780,000, $800,000 in crypto. Mm. Went to bed one night, and it was worth half that when I woke up. What were you in? Uh, so here's the moment. So then he should have sold. My understanding is he put like, I don't even know if he put that much into it, and it exploded. He should have just sold when it started going down, at least some of it to recoup his money back. Biggest regret. I originally invested in Ethereum. And this okay. was based on you're saying Tucker Carlson's family owns Tyson. No, that's not true. That can't be true. <laughs> Wait, there's a Snopes article on it. That's no, false. What are you talking about? False. What are you talking about? Um, Patricia Swanson, who married Tucker Carlson's father when Tucker was 10, is an heiress to the wealthy generated by Swanson TV Dinner Company. Your grandfather, Carl Swanson, found it, but the family sold the Swanson brand's food product. Okay, so he, they kind of were. Okay. On a few friends becoming <clears throat> Ethereum millionaires. And I had like an initial investment of about $200,000. I put it in, and then it fell for the first time. Yeah. About 200000 went down to like eighty, And I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't really... I could have swore it soar up to like seven hundred and fifty. No? I need the money right now. I'm making money. I can live off How of that. How much are you making? Fuck 10 to 15,000, I think. A month? Yeah, in a month, right? Incredible, yeah. Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, incredible wealth. More than you could ever hope to spend, right? Yeah. And eventually, that crypto went up to past my investment point. Um, got close. If I held on to my Ethereum right now, if I'd never needed to dip into it and I had not gambled on stupid altcoins, uh, I probably have about 1.5 million in Ethereum well, right now. Even even still, like, I don't even, yeah. okay, what year was that? What year was that? The initial investment happened in 2019, no, 2000, 2019, yeah. Okay, how much did you put into Ethereum? 200,000. 200,000? 
200,000 in 2018. The initial <laughs> Destiny just went live and said juicy tell all divorce drama. The last one was in nice. 2018. Okay. And, and then the first market crash. 2018. Let's yeah. say you put it at the beginning. S&P 500 was worth 271. Now it's worth 458. It would have almost doubled. Almost doubled. To if I put in like traditional stocks or traditional. Just, the yeah. S&P 500 just following. The yeah, just safe stocks that generally, uh, I think they get like 8% growth per year. Is that what it is over year? Market in general. Oh, yeah. this, was there not a single person surrounding you? Was there not a single person just in your YouTube circle, in the family circle, who's like, dude, I had the you're opposite. making money. I had the opposite. I had people telling me, um, you should invest in crypto. Everybody I knew was Everyone investing. you knew. Every, all of my YouTuber friends. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the biggest problems with being terminally online and having only terminally online friends is that you make dumb decisions because you're all dumb. It's something that even I would have been susceptible to. But like I'm married to a person who's not terminally online. They're like a normal human being who works a normal human being job. <laughs> it's a real thing. So, yeah. Kind of fucked up on that one, everybody. Uh, McJugger Nuggets, kid behind the camera. All these people, okay. like, look, I've made millions from crypto. I've made millions from crypto. Nobody was telling me that it was too late in the game. Nobody was telling me that I bought crypto. I bought a. Th what are you talking about? You bought it and then it went up to what you, you went up drastically. He said like at seven hundred and fifty thousand at one point, and then he started going down instead of selling, and still you know breaking more than even. He decided to keep it in there and just let it tank. Ethereum at thirty bucks, and now you're gonna buy it at two eighty. Wasn't even too late in the game. It's just like crypto is a gamble. Yeah, it's just sort of a gamble. It's like, I, I hardly consider it. In investment versus like traditional. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, not to make any excuses, <clears throat> but keep in mind, I didn't come from money. I'm, I'm the son of a coal miner. Me either. Right. And so okay. no one in my life was ever trying to teach me what to do with it's money true. or how to do it with money. So somebody comes along and they're like, look, I took my initial million yes. and I turned it into 20 million. Yeah. You should do that too. That's why I'm excited about this conversation. Yeah. Usually on the show, yeah. I just meet with random people who are either part of the audience or they're off the street and I just help them through the situations. You're an interesting case here because... You follow the case of the professional athlete, the actor, the mm -hmm. YouTuber. Yep. Boom, lots of athlete. money comes in. We put it here, we put it there, we, put, we just spend it, spend it, it just goes crazy, then we end up broke. It's yeah. a traditional story. And that's why. Sure, but again, like, just keep in mind that, like, and I, I guess he did, he probably started, well, I guess he's starting to actually pick up his career and actually work again. Um, but a big part of it is he refused to do any actual work as he's failed. He didn't start making content in any serious capacity for quite a long time. Now he is doing a podcast, so at least there's something there. Um, but like, is he doing his commentary stuff yet? <sighs> barely, barely. He's barely like he's got he's okay. He's got the trailer reaction GTA. Okay, so we got five days ago, six days ago, six days ago, nine days ago. Why are you going so long without whatever? I doesn't. I don't care. It's it's fucking beating a dead horse. I mean, you should be trying to post more often if you want to have more money there. But who cares? That's why I'm so excited to have this conversation. This guy's working like ten minutes a day. <laughs> He's like complaining about money. It's just infuriating to everybody. Is because you just followed you followed that path. I mean, what would you say you're worth today in total? Since you guys are so awesome for supporting me, I partnered with a company called Kudos to give some money back to you. So stick to the end of this to see how you can participate. Kudos is fantastic because- I don't care about Kudos. Put it in my balls. If you want to check it out, go ahead. Ward can Again, enter, 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 The rewards are great. And if you get the grand prize, it's like a bonus Christmas gift. Cool. The equity in your house is what's carrying you. Yeah, that's everything. Yeah. yeah. My bottom line comes down to if and when I need to sell my house, I'll have a nest egg of probably three hundred thousand mm dollars -hmm. that I can hopefully invest smartly this time and live off of the dividends. I, I don't or you could just get a fucking job. <laughs> like th it's a it, it is such an entitled, privileged perspective to be like, yeah, hopefully I can make a bunch of money so I can live off of it. Get a fucking job. Like I like, dude, do YouTube more. I mean, it's, it's beating a dead horse, but holy fuck, you post like every three days. Like I, I don't even understand. Like my thing is, is I don't even understand why you would want to not work. Like I get it, but I don't. I feel like I could, I would never want to not work, even if I maybe I'll, if I ever become rich or whatever, I would change my mind. But I doubt it. It's nice. I, I enjoy working. He has the privilege of having like a really nice job that anybody would kill for, for the most part. So why are you just looking to do nothing? It's like pathetic. Do you not have a drive as a person to want to? do more like you put out five minute commentary videos every three days <laughs> like what what work are you even talking about <laughs> what i'd mm. like to think i wouldn't screw up a second time i wouldn't like buy crypto a second time <laughs> crypto but like what you know. next like how would you say you've become educated on personal finances i at least know not to do that and i think the other There's thing a lot more not to do. i think the other thing to do is hire a professional yes right yeah get that financial advisor in your corner yeah. that is like the key if you have the money to hire a financial advisor you're probably doing much better than you're leading on 
Okay. Well, okay. So I just want to start with the basic things for where we are today. YouTube ad revenue. That's the big boy. That's what's, that's what's bringing in the primary yeah. cash monies right now. And I showed you my numbers. I made about yeah. 44,000 in the last year, but which gives us $3,724. He made 44,000 in the last year. Is he saying year to date right now? That's really not that bad. 44,000 as of right now. So for this year, we'll say we're saying roughly 45,000. That's doing pretty much no, no work. That's insane. That's like a solid pension. Dude, this guy's fucking insane. This fucking baiting for money is pathetic. The month on average, but we know a lot of that has to do with the spike, spike came from this documentary. documentary right? Okay, the documentary. Link that, below. Mike's awesome. And that's that spike absolutely will not be sustainable. Now I have a few other no, projects. I got not. a great podcast in the works called the, the Low Cow Podcast. We just made our- In the works. What? Our fifth episode. It's profitable. I How think that's going to gonna be an income bring in. I, that's easily going to bring in probably two grand a month, I think, within the yeah. next six months. So that's going to be- Within the next six months? Okay, so it's not there yet. A nice lifeline. Mm -hmm. um, my YouTube numbers, I think, are going to settle at probably $3,000 a month. But if you... For doing almost nothing? That's incredible. Look at my finances, if we've gotten into them, to be comfortable. Did he, did he say that the documentary made him 28 k Oh, maybe it did. Uh, $2,100 mortgage. I, I don't know. I feel like he's doing... I feel, he, I feel, he, he says something that he makes like around $3,000 a month. It's doing nothing, so... Uh, $800 a month health insurance. Yeah. Um, utilities, bills, everything. I need about $7,000 a month to maintain my existing lifestyle, which I just don't think we can do. Uh, just work more, you fucking... What? Oh, we don't, don't trust me. We will get yeah, there. Yeah. Patreon, like you do a podcast where you show up and you talk. You don't do anything. You're, I, I doubt you do, you're doing anything. What are you talking about? Do more work. You don't do any work. You don't do anything. You do like a two-hour podcast every week and then you post stuff like five or 10-minute videos every three days. You're not doing any work. Do more fucking work. What the fuck? Like, honestly, what's even the point? It's 122 bucks a month. I never, point. yeah, I never promoted it. No, no, I never promoted it. No, I never promoted it. See, no. okay. To diversify some of the income stream here, we launched a Patreon and we did a budgeting program, mm -hmm. but we didn't just do them as cash grabs. We actually thought of them as potential future business avenues. And the way that we did, did them is we put way more value into them than what we were charging. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And so, so what he's saying is, hey, we all gave something to people. I don't give you shit for Patreon. All you get is like your name above the thing. And I'm fine with that. I'll take a hundred bucks a month, like a thousand dollars a year. I'll take it and whatever. But um, also, I'm putting effort into my content. It's lower effort than others. I fucking do reactions, and that's great for me. But it's still putting exponentially more effort than Boogie is. <laughs> Even this reaction alone is already more effort than Boogie puts in on, in a week. But it's actually Patreon. If you thing. go and read it, it originally said um, this is an AdSense forgiveness Patreon. If you want to give me five dollars a month because you use AdBlocker, please do. And that was all. I never promoted it. I never pushed it. I never, okay. for the but most you have part, dedicated fans. You do have Surprising. dedicated fans. You've gone from almost 4 million subscribers down to, or almost 5 million subscribers down to, gonna fall below 4 potentially. Yeah, it probably will. Probably within the, by the time this airs, honestly. There's so, a very real chance, yeah. With that, like, there, really are there, there's clearly people that are still very dedicated boogie heads, and whatever never, you might call them. I did ask these people for help like a year ago, and the internet pub. Yeah, it was pathetic. Likely shamed. Because you, you begged people. You, you, you didn't say, I'm gonna start putting out more content. You didn't say you're gonna put out more content. You just begged people for money. It was fucking pathetic. It was like loser shit. And again, you're barely posting anything. It's like fucking Jesus Christ. What is this? Post every day. Post a video every single day. Talk about something. Find something to talk about. Like diversify your bonds, bro. Yes, because I provided help a lot. no value. I mean, like one time I threw myself on the, I, I took a huge hit to my health and I was like, yeah. got really scared because these medical bills are starting to pile up. And this one time I came out, I'm like, Hey, I really could use some help. Wasn't there the, oops, I just accidentally bought a hundred thousand dollar Tesla. Please was, give me that money. Was a, that was a bit like I never bought a Tesla. I never, okay. yeah. You didn't get a Tesla? No, of course not. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm driving. Is that true? Like a Toyota hybrid Corolla. That See, I, I feel like that's just not true. I feel like he's just lying. I don't, it's just not even worth carrying. He, Bought used for 20K. Yeah, I saw the Toyota. I was like, did he get rid of his Tesla? Never had one. Never had one. Never so had that's one. his internet rumor. I mean, so I did. I went with my friend McJuggernuggets to a Tesla dealership. That would be him lying about getting a Tesla. And then I swear, is this the first we're hearing that he supposedly didn't? It is so. I don't know what we're expecting. I mean, the level of honesty. I don't know why I would think that it would be one. Mm -hmm. He test drove, I test drove, <clears throat> right? Uh, he's like, I'm going to buy one. I hope. So you said you test drove a Tesla and then you pretended to buy it and then you begged people to give you money for the Tesla? Wow. Is that a bit? And it doesn't make sense. It's a bit. If anything, you're just begging people to give you money on something you didn't purchase as like a lie. No? Buy one. Let's look into getting you one. And I got this crazy idea in my head. Yeah. You know, it's showroom experience, right? I'm like, I'm going to get a Model X with the wing doors. And then I called my friend at the Celebrity Car Museum in Branson, check him out. Um, and I'm like, how much to kit it out as a modern day DeLorean? 
It was like maybe 10, 15, maybe 20. Let's put the money into it. And I thought I'd have a cool show car, right? Yeah. Uh, we we're coming off the back of uh, Ready Player One. The DeLorean was all the rage again. Back to the Future anniversaries uh, just happened. I'm like, this seems like a, a smart investment while I was in the showroom. And I got home and I put a $2,500 uh, deposit down and I'm like crunching the numbers looking. Oh. I'll, I'll spend $50,000 today on a, a down payment. Yeah. I'll loan out the other 50. This is a stupid decision. It would have been aggressively stupid. Right. I'm so glad you didn't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, so. I am so glad you didn't do that. That was one of the scariest things but that at, I thought I heard. But at that point, why not just play the character? Is right? that at that oh. point, just let the internet do what the internet's going to do, right? I, I feel like I just don't believe. I I just don't believe it. I because Boogie doesn't have the mental fortitude to be trolled. He breaks down constantly. He's he's putting on a facade now, and that's fine. But this idea that like a year ago or whatever, he's like, yeah, no, I just lied about it to get money. What? It, what? Are you saying that you intentionally stir up controversy to get money from? I don't. What's the Okay. I mean, whatever. It's yeah. I didn't expect front page matter. of Reddit. That was wild. And to this day, I think it's still fascinating that people think I bought that car. I can't believe I thought you, you thought that. I bought that car. I thought you bought that car. And the worst part about it is, and anybody out there, like if you want to buy a luxury car, buy a luxury car. I don't I don't think it's a smart decision. But if you're gonna buy a So this guy gets a Tesla or says he gets a Tesla and then begs his fans for money, and then now he's saying he never had the Tesla. Is this the Tesla that he's talking about? Or I don't even know what the, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. So like now the narrative shit. Is this the Tesla? No, it's not a Tesla. That's a fucking whatever. Uh, I don't have a dad. I'm not a car guy. So now we're just shifting from begging for money for a Tesla to just begging for money. Oh wait, is it? No, it's not a Tesla. To just begging for money on off the lie that he had a Tesla. Doesn't that make him a worse person? That makes him an even shittier person, no? A luxury car. Don't buy a Tesla. What's wrong with Tesla? I'm considering getting a Tesla. They're so expensive for repairs. If someone mm. dents that vehicle, it's so... They know it's a luxury car, so they make sure they upcharge you every chance they get. If you want to go Whoa. the fastest possible speed, there's a fee to unlock that. It can do it. It's just a software, <laughs> Governor. They charge you to let it have the ludicrous speed. Like it's, it's a money. It's a, one of the worst money things I think you can make. Mm. I've routinely well, cars made fun. in general. I mean, mm -hmm. unless it's like a beater that's getting you from A and B, or just safety measures, or room for family, everything beyond that starts becoming a want. That's why. So luxury vehicles are okay if they're, you know. That's when I bought the newest car I've ever owned was this uh, hybrid. Yeah, and it had one previous owner. Uh, and I bought it just before all the prices went crazy. So I got it for twenty, twenty, twenty one thousand. Uh, I wanted to build credit, so I put twelve thousand down. I loaned out the rest. You still all on it? I think maybe. Didn't he get a bunch of that, um, donation money for the Tesla? Where did the money go? I don't know. That... Okay, I mean it's just self-reporting. No? Thousand or two thousand <clears throat> in the neighborhood of not very much. Okay. Um, Facebook seventy-six bucks comes in a month. Again, what are we doing there? Are we just posting some clips and just nothing's happening? Or oh uh, no, this is Meta PC. So this is a sponsor that I have. <laughs> we get uh, five percent. All right. <laughs> yeah, we get five percent of uh, the sales that we make in a month. So some months it's low like this, seventy-six bucks. On a really good month, it's maybe three hundred. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's keep going through the income. Mm -hmm. Twitch again, not. For some reason, I would have thought you were doing better on Twitch. And here's the thing: it's because number one, I don't stream as often as I like. Why? Um, as you like, you what? You don't do anything. What do you mean you don't stream as often as you like? Stream more. I get very anxious doing it. Wow, it's so sad. Uh, most of the bad things that I ever said, I said on Twitch, right? Yeah. So don't do that anymore. The real issue is he's lazy. He doesn't want to put on the performance of going of like jo fucking gargling his neck every time he gets a donation. Oh, I get so anxious. No, you're lazy. Let's like you don't you don't make YouTube videos in the capacity that you need to to make it more money. You don't stream because you're fucking lazy. I mean, I remember seeing the, the the him say something along the lines of like, "Oh, I mentally prepped myself to talk to you today, Turkey Tom. I just sat and played video games all day." That's like, that's like what the fuck? Work. That's because I have this to, trying to totally break character with you here. I have this very Andy Kaufman esque character. Also. That he claimed that he didn't buy one back in 2021. Could be a Oh, maybe. He doesn't have an Andy Kaufman character. He, he, he just uses this character thing as like a dumb defense. That I'm an idiot. And so I will either push the edge because I grew up on Andy Kaufman, Sam Kinison, Richard edge. Pryor, George Carlin, um, Andrew Dice Clay. I love it. It would help if Boogie was funny because he's not. Like, he's not funny. He can, he's been funny. It's all body humor. Nobody thinks, like, I don't think anybody's ever listened to him make, tell a joke and go, that was funny. You see him make an ass out of himself, like the Francis character. Then you like you laugh, but he's not like it's not really funny. He just embarrasses himself, and people laugh at him. You know what I mean? He can be funny, but like not Andy Kaufman, not like edgy humor funny, 
what she's trying to is tell us like you don't have the character what the fuck are you talking about of shock humor I listen to shock humor still to this day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just stream yourself playing video games. Yeah, for sure. Um, but people didn't like it when you did it. No, they, just, they like it coming from a shock jock or a shock comedian. They like it coming from somebody funny that knows how to actually deliver a joke. Not the person that some people branded as the Mr. Rogers of YouTube. Who, who branded him Mr. Ro- <laughs> Serious question. Who branded Boogie as the Mr. Rogers of YouTube? Did anybody, like, who said that? Did, I'm not trying to be an asshole. Mr. Rogers... Like, did anybody actually say that, or is that just like the way he pretends that he was branded? Um, who the fuck ever called him that? I feel like he, I feel like nobody ever did. Maybe I'm wrong. Again, he just doesn't know how to deliver a joke. You can't do that. Bob Saget did it, but I'm no Bob Saget, right? So why we do it then? Stupidity. Okay. I, I, it just you know. But on top of that. Uh, if you watch one of my live streams, it's probably more that he wanted to be shocking because he thought it would be f- like he would get uh, an audience. People are like, wow, that's really cool. And actually, if you committed to it, you might have, but you're a pussy. So I mentioned donations, subs, stuff like that, maybe once in a two hour stream because I've never against the character I play against the reputation I have. I don't like crowdsourcing. But- <laughs> what 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 is this? What is this performance? I don't crowdsourcing. He, he's saying that he doesn't like to ask for money. Yes, you do. First of all, there's nothing wrong with streaming and saying, hey, guys, you know, for five bucks a month, you can blah, blah, blah. You're going on there begging people for money somewhat regularly. What are you talking about? Please watch my video. Blah, 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 blah. Give me money. I need it. I have all these expenses that I, I don't pay for. I don't work. I need you to give me money. What is he talking about? This is just such a weird lie. But you I- refuse to get a job. And you need money to survive. He refuses to do more YouTube work. Uh, it's less of so a we have to do something. It is absolutely a refusal. Less of refusing more that I, I just don't know if I could. You, you know, yes, you could. You could go out and you could get an office job and sit down. I do have good news about that though. Yeah, well, you're not gonna have four million subscribers for long, so you can get a job now. <laughs> Sorry, buds. I mean, that's not something I would actually ever say. You know, uh, merch. People aren't really buying your merch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'd, I'd take 20 bucks for a month, you know, for selling I get it as well, but when, when I start seeing people on this show, especially business people, who are just so scattered into different pots, and little's coming in, little's coming in here, it's mm-hmm. not adding up to much. Instead of, again, this is what I was going to start bringing up with Twitch. Like, you say, oh, I'm not really on there much, and you know. Yeah, instead of, like, you're focusing on the 20 instead of the 80. It's like the 80-20 rule. Instead of, like, putting your, you know, dipping into, like, let me do the blah, 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 here, 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 here. Focus on one thing and actually commit to it. Like, focus on Twitch and commit to that. Focus on making YouTube videos. Commit to that. He knows this. He's trying. He just is fucking lazy. Oh, things have been consequences and I'm, uh, consequences from what right. I've said, and then I'm feeling anxious about it. Then I'm just like, okay, we're done with Twitch. Done with Twitch. Who even gives? Focus all in what we know can be the revenue builder all time. Which continues to be YouTube ads. Yes, it does. This is absolutely Ooh, the biggest crazy. number that we have seen here so far. Now, uh, would I be able to? They're not going to be able to see it, but would I be able to see the studio app? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I think I showed you a screenshot. Uh, yes, I just. Okay. Like I there's a couple things I'm curious it. about. You just, oh, he's got a pop socket. That's the gayest thing a man can have is a pop socket. I'm sorry. That's a, that's that's for women. Stop. Private for my eyes only, not for you. Okay. So what I'm mostly curious about, I want to go lifetime. So, dude, okay, this is what the revenue looks like. <laughs> YouTube revenue starts, right? Because mm-hmm. you know, obviously, first of all, when YouTube started, it's just, I mean, the first three years, the that. first three years I started on YouTube, there was no partner exactly. program. Partner program didn't exist. So we go like, and then just trickle, 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 trickle. To where we are today is yeah. what your graph yeah, yeah, yeah. looks like. That that scares me. Yeah, I had like two good years. If if you look at the seventeen year history, I had like two really good years. You've made one point three million dollars. Incredible in seventeen years, and which comes like, out no. to what per year? I know, but that's still are you a math guy. Well, I'm not a public math guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I say? One point three. Yeah, over seventeen. Seventeen was when you started earning, or fifteen would have been when I started earning. Um, yeah, eighty eighty six thousand dollars a year. Well, I mean, you're above them. That's still a lot of. That's still a good amount of money. <laughs> But okay, I understand the concept of. Um, I understand the concept of getting a lot of money at like at one time because you're getting, and not really keeping a long term, um, perspective on it. I understand that concept. I do. I do get that. And so, like, it's harder to manage. But again, he just doesn't do fucking work, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Median I mean, household well, income. He's out of a disability, which is what I was on when I started the YouTube channel. Yeah, right? absolutely. But this managing money correctly and not spending a lot of it on prostitution would equate to us having at least a little bit of money now. 
Well, again, to address that important part of the doc, yeah. uh, number one, those numbers are rounded up. Mike admitted that those numbers are, are, are rounded up and adjusted. Yeah, yeah, they, they said that they were sensationalized. Sure, whatever, if you say so. Uh, secondly, the majority of that money was spent traveling. And yeah. I went to the Game Awards. I went to Disney. I went, it was still a huge waste of money. But I, th yeah. I think if we're dropping character and I think if we're being genuine here, I think it's, I started, I tried to get a travel channel off the ground and try to do what my friend Jacob the Carpetbagger and Adam the Woo do. And I thought people would watch me go to Disneyland, right? I'm a big, fat, weird guy trying to, to do this, do that. Turns out they did not want to watch me do that. So if you contributed of the, you know, 80 whatever. What? Carpetbagger and Adam the Woo do. And I thought people would watch me go to Disneyland, right? I'm a big, fat, weird guy trying to, to do this, do that. Turns out they did not want to watch me do that. So if how bad did his disney videos do i mean like you'd have to consistently put out content like that you can't just do it one time and then give up i mean you can do whatever you want but if you contributed of the you know 80 whatever that you're making on a monthly basis mm -hmm. uh 20 percent on a monthly basis which is like just very basic recommended mm -hmm. uh, contributing to just the standard stock market eight percent return uh you know being a little more conservative there from beginning to end you know up years down years all combined eight percent sure over the course of the f uh 15 years seventeen thousand. hey shut the fuck up disney's not a waste of money don't tell me that in the chat He's right. Disney's a waste of money. Shut up. Shut the hell up. Dollars a year would equate to almost half a million dollars. Now, now obviously we continue and just let that continue to compound and hopefully throwing more things in there. We could get you to a point where you know mid sixties retirement. What scares me now? What scares me now? I'm not going to talk about the. You're just not going to retire. Like I, I just, I, I, me personally, I have no, I have no like. I just, you just work forever. Who gives a shit? Like I feel like, especially for men, once you stop working, you just die. I've seen like so many people talk about like, oh yeah, I stopped working. Like people have stopped working and they lost meaning for their life and they just fucking died. I just feel like, and I, and this is, I feel like this is more for men. And I'm sure women can be like that too, but men just kind of, they just need to do. That's just my opinion. They need to do. Um, they need, saying, they need like, motivation in their life and move forward. Whatever. This is this is financial. Well, man, I'm not making it to mid sixties. Let's, no, no, let's just be honest. Oh well, that's what I want to talk about. Yeah. I'm not talking about the. Uh, I know a lot of people want to. Okay, this is financial audit, not dating audit. So, she's gonna live longer than you. Sure. You guys might get married. Maybe. Sure. Probably. What do we do when you're no longer here and you've left nothing to a widow? Well, my well, she can get a fucking job. Who gives a shit? My process has always been when I met her. Without getting into her personal history too much, because it's not necessarily the place for it. Yep. But um, when I met her, she was struggling with severe social anxiety. Mm -hmm. She was struggling with um, just getting her life together. Uh, cool. When I met her, I, I was talking to my friend Michael, kid behind the camera, and his plan was just be the person you needed when you were in that position. <laughs> I guess at least he's doing his friend a favor by shouting him out constantly. That's who I was when I was her age, <laughs> when I was twenty years old, just like her. Why what? Heather. Uh, when I met her. I, I was talking to my friend Michael Kid behind the camera, and his plan was just be the person you needed when you were in that position. Because that's who I was when I was her age. When I was 20 years old, just like her, um, I couldn't. You needed somebody to put you on camera and force you to cry? Is that, is that what you're saying? That's what you needed when you were 20? To cry over the potential loss of your life? <laughs> to cry over the fact that you might cheat on her? Like, that's what you needed as a kid? Fucking awesome, man. Function of the world. I played EverQuest in World of Warcraft and did uh, built terrible websites and made a a, 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 bare, a barely passable income. What does this have to do with you leaving or anything? Well, uh, hold on. I'm getting to that. Okay. Nothing. If I left her destitute, yeah. my plan is to still leave her better off than she was. Okay. Right? Well, like get her sure. out into the world, get her the experience she needs, get her working if she when she's ready. But if we're get responsible her her with money, you actually leave ready. her a nest egg instead of just, you know, putting well, right. life I'm just now. Saying, I'm just saying. What gets her ready to work? I would really like to know because you're not a therapist. You don't know dick about shit. You realize that you would need to do like it's exposure therapy. Also, I just I'm not convinced that she has enough social anxiety to not get a job. What it sounds more like is that she comes from a privileged background with a mom and dad that put up with the bullshit excuse. There are jobs where you don't have to socially interact with that many people. You can work them. The fuck out of here with that shit. Saying right now, that's a conversation her and I have had, and like, like that's a very real possibility. And she's chosen to stay with me because she's not in it for the money, right? She's no. in it for the life experience. She's in it for the love. She's in it for the companionship. She she's in it for the money. Uh, let's just can we uh, we need to stop at this magical again. When it comes down to it, he's giving her things that he can't afford, but he's still spoiling her. So she doesn't fully understand how little money he might have or pretends to have. So. 
expertise in it to become a better and stronger person. But as a partnership, caring about the other yeah. partner, you want to, instead of putting now, now with instant gratification, right. we want to leave Well, that's something. why I'm here. That's the update. He was going to have a manifesto and uh, tell all, but changed his mind about therapy, so it won't be airing much. Oh, that's actually great. We'll talk about that after. Yeah. Right? That's why I'm sitting down with you. Keep me updated. You today. No, absolutely. Because I'm hoping you can help me f- create a financial plan that can That's why I don't call it out immediately direction. so you don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. so you have a mortgage. Have now, a mortgage. this is your biggest equity position. Uh, what do we think the house is worth today? Zillow tells me 480. Um, one mm-hmm. of the houses the neighborhood just sold for a little over $5 million. I can't sell the house. I have my friend there that knows something about me or something. I don't know why it doesn't just kick his run down. It's the same size. Or sorry, uh, half a million. Five hundred thousand. Okay. <laughs> um, and it's it's the same size as mine. It's literally across the street and it just sold. So okay. I think there's a very real chance that I need. Yeah, but you got, you got to get rid of the smell first with your house before you sell. It's going to cost another 20 grand just to get that out. To so. put maybe 20,000 of work into <clears throat> it. We need new carpets. We need paint. Um, yeah. Stuff like that. There's hole in the ceiling and, and some, you know, did you almost lose this? Damage. Do what? Did you almost lose this house at one point? No, never. No. Okay. Yeah. That's always, I will bend over backwards to make sure that mortgage gets paid. Yeah. I fall over, brother. Uh, if I have to sell everything I own, if I have to, and I have, we've, we've made some concessions that I'm not entirely comfortable. Ah, have you made a concession of working more? <laughs> or sharing. Um, because the people involved are private people. Sure. Wow. But I did move a roommate in. He's been helping a little bit here and there. Mm. Um, I had a roommate over the last 25 years. He's finally been able to kick in a little bit as well. So we are finding ways oh, wow. to. So there's two roommates. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. Uh, what was the purchase price of this house? The original purchase price two seventy five, and then I refinanced in 2018 because of my divorce. So the loan in 2018 became two hundred thousand because I put more money down because I had money to to put down. So I got it down to two oh seven. I mean, we're at four point three percent. What are we going to refinance? You're going to get like hit to eight percent. Well, uh, the plan would be to try to bring the initial monthly payment down, but I really don't want to have to ever do that. Uh, so you think he's refinance for a higher interest rate over a longer term to reduce the monthly payment? <laughs> That's but overall pay more. Is that so, so smart? Yeah. Because we're five years into a fifteen year, so we paid so much principal off. Wow, you did fifteen year. Yeah, I was making good money at the time, so why not do 15 years? But now we're, from 2018 to now, we're five years into a 15 year. Now, mm-hmm. I'm no math wizard, and you are the math wizard, but that means I paid a good amount of principal off, right? I'm earning a very solid amount of equity by staying in that house, right? Well, you definitely pay more interest up front, but yes, five year into 15 year, you're definitely starting to see more benefit. Right. Absolutely. Um, well, I love the rate, though. Yeah, you right, couldn't get a better rate, right? We would like, something, with my, but like, with my credit, I could not have gotten a better oh, rate for at, sure. the time, at the time. Uh, but I mean, the reality of it is, Moving out of that house and trying to stay in Northwest Arkansas near my medical professionals where I need to stay. You have to stay. Yeah. Bro, when are we going to tell this guy to do more work? Does this guy look at his YouTube channel and say, why are you only posting five minutes of content every day or every 30 days? It's it's a very stupid idea. Um, there is very little in the area. I might be able to get an apartment for $900 a month. Um, I might be able to get a duplex for $1,300 a month, but paying $2,100 in and then having some of that being brought in by roommates, I'm paying as much to live in this house and build equity. Mm-hmm as I would be giving it all to a landlord instead. If anything, I, of course, I don't have the full financial history of like the last few years, mm-hmm. but if anything that I know just from just internet, mm-hmm. this was the good choice. Oh yeah, this was the smartest choice. This was the good choice. Yeah. And uh, 30 year- f- Yeah, I mean like mortgages, I think at least student loans, car loans are typically considered like good debt. <clears throat> You know, because some people falsely don't understand that just because you have good credit doesn't mean that you have like a meaningful good credit. If you have good credit and what's on your credit is like you have a credit card, but you don't have a house loan, you don't have a car loan, you don't have like anything like that, especially those like like life loans. <clears throat> like credit, people that look at credit are going to look at that, look at your credit history and go like, okay, you have good credit, but you don't have like meaningful credit. So I don't, like they're not gonna necessarily going to take you as seriously. It's like, yeah, mortgage is good credit. Fix uh, or 15 year fix. There's different philosophies on that. I personally go 30 year because I just feel like I can uh, just make a better return on investment, putting the rest of the money somewhere else. But either way, I'm totally okay with this. To limiting risk, knowing your position and knowing that the YouTube career can be, you know, a quick woo. I would have like, okay, we made one point, whatever, 1.3 million and we owed a total of 208,000. I wish we could have just taken care of this and lowered your risk profile yeah, yeah. over that time instead of, course, of yeah. instead of doing the traveling and stuff like that. Where all my money's been going, I pay a little extra towards this on a monthly basis, but where my money's mostly been going is. To, into cash flowing uh, properties that then pay for this if YouTube goes away completely. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that's that's. I wish we were risk mitigating. Right. In turn, but instead of that, we were going into crypto. So nobody ever nobody ever likes this answer. Okay. Um, because it's not a good one, and nothing I'm about to say is an excuse. Mm, let's hear it. But the headspace that I was in in 2018, as I was going to kill myself. Yeah, we get it. Um, was not a very good one, and so I was not planning for a potential future because I did not feel that I had. One. Yeah. Uh, and. 2018 Christmas, I had planned to take my own. She's like so fatigued over this. I don't even believe it. He lies about everything. I don't believe it. I don't care. Mm-hmm. And I made it. Maybe you should have just followed through on something. <laughs> I'm kidding.
to that Christmas date and I decided to postpone <sighs> it for the dumbest reasons. Uh, Christmas day, I'm sitting there alone. I have my dog in my lap and my roommate's out of town and I realized my dog's going to be sitting there with my dead body for three days. Cool. And I'm like, you know what? I need to wait. Nah, the dog wouldn't. The dog would start eating you. You'd be surprised how quickly dogs will start to eat your dead body. So just to be clear, I think cats eat them faster. Um, but when your food, your food. And I, I rescheduled to July 24th, uh, 2019, which was my birthday. Mm -hmm. And I thought in that process I would travel a lot so that my roommate and my dog, who'd never really bonded, would begin to bond. So if you look at my travel scan plans, in January, I spent a couple of weekends away. In February, it became three day weekends. And then in March, it became four days. So you went on vacations. <laughs> Got it. So weekends. And by July, it rolled around. I spent two weeks in California saying goodbye to my friends with the plans of going home to end myself. I'm I very ended, glad you didn't, by the way. Well, I ended up doing um, some. I just don't believe any of this. I do not recommend, right? I mean, we, we don't casually do. I did it under they the. Did mushroom uh, trouble. I, I did that with a guidance of a shaman. And my original trip was shaman in 2019. And I realized should I, I play a shaman? The path that I, was on. I, I realized that this was what I for better or for worse, no matter how hard this was going to be. Yeah. I had to stay here and do it. Now here I am four years later doing it. Um, and it's not been great. It's it's not. Been, and I went home and COVID right. happened. And, well, I have a question for you for the future of this uh, yeah. conversation and yeah. what we're trying to do here. Are you willing to, and I think it might be for like the true first time from just conversations I've watched preparing for this, and then obviously this conversation so far, sure. are we willing to just let go of the past? The past does not define us. We are human beings that are on this life, on the, have a life temporary on this planet, that we are growing, and let's look for the future But we now. are talking about the past. Like we're talking about the financial decisions I was making in 2019. No, I know, but when it comes to right, what so like obviously uploaded. It's relevant, but for, if you're asking if I have personally moved on, yeah. But are we willing yeah. to in this conversation? Like, are we willing sure, to? Sure, unless you ask me why I was making these financial decisions in 2019, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. That's fair enough. Right? No, that's fair enough. Yeah. But when it comes to, I uploaded this many YouTube videos then and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, okay, let's like, what can we do in the future? Just make this awesome. Right. Upload more content. Ooh, what a hot take. That's the hot take. I really, I do want to hear the advice though. So that we can make sure you're financially secure. But I effectively, I had a nervous breakdown at the end of 2019. Oh my God, and I don't even think you could put this in your video, but I said something extremely inflammatory. Uh -huh. I said that the people who had spent the last year harassing me, uh, getting my sponsors to, to stop supporting me, uh, attacking my fans um, and, and, and att attacking me personally. I said that they were worse than which is like Hitler. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Who fucking cares? Move on. Not a thing you can say. Right. It's also not true. It's hyperbole. I didn't mean it, but that's, I said this on live stream. Sure. Right? You can't take that back once the cat's out of the bag. You in live stream. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, which used to be extremely lucrative. I used to make five grand a month, 10 grand a month from live streaming yeah. when I was really at, good at it and really pushing it. I, I would live stream for three hours a night, five nights a week, six nights a week, and we'd bring home five, 10 K sometimes. I was talking to a very successful streamer a few weeks ago about you and he thinks you can make like 20 K a month. If on I kick. can keep my foot out of my mouth and that's no, something I have so much trouble doing. Even there. On a kick? Uh, probably not, but who's he talking to? I mean, like people <clears throat> probably rightfully so, but for whatever reason, I think I'm held to a, a standard that I don't know that I'm good enough for. I'm going to say, well, you also react to everything. What? You, you, you feed them, too, you yeah. feed them. It's the, I haven't yeah. opened. He's acting like a child. You have no self control. Just don't be a fucking loser. Ban people in the chat. What are you talking about? <laughs> he just makes so many excuses. Oh my God. He's a fucking excuse machine. I can't grow as a person and just do better. Like, this is the thing. What's Anyone this guy saying? Caleb you? Hammer is like, hey, why don't you just move on? Like, kind of, the past is the past. Move on. Do better. Sure. That's a great idea. And the boogie's like, I couldn't change. I can't change. <laughs> okay. What do you, what do you fucking, you're a child. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I've been TikTok in like two months. So it's like, yeah, a lot of the things that you, you want to, a lot of things you want to talk about have really changed Sorry, since. What are you saying? So it's like, thing. You, you, you feed them. Too, you yeah, feed yeah. them. It's the, I haven't yeah, opened yeah. TikTok in like two months. So it's like, yeah, a lot of the things that you, you want to talk about. Oh, he's saying that he gets like TikTok pushback. No, he's right. You just don't respond to pushback. <laughs> like you, a lot of a lot of times you just don't care. You should, I mean, honestly, it's, you probably shouldn't. A lot of things you want to talk about have really changed since March in this last year. What happened in March? Um, again, I went into some really intense therapy. Mm -hmm. I combined Lawrence it with- Super chatted $2.68. Oh my God. First time in the stream loving this gut guy. Thanks, I really appreciate Thank you, Emma. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rad, for the one month small gut. My first time here in the stream, too. Fucking awesome, man. So many first timers, dude. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, everybody. And the, the mentorship of a shaman. <laughs> okay. And those dude, three. He's one of the shaman. I'm pretty sure the guy was just like riddled with cancer and did fucking drugs. Why are we calling him a shaman? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
I, I, if you look at the statistics, modern science is showing, and I, I can recommend a, a documentary for anybody who's interested, How to Change Your Mind, it's available on Netflix, um, you have the capacity to cure post-traumatic stress disorder, which was my biggest issue, right? Um, <laughs> it's one of the reasons I was stuck in these negative thought patterns. And so with a combination of doing intensive, twice a week therapy with a traditional therapist, okay. um, while combining that with seeing a shaman and taking the money puts your brain into a, a place of neuroplasticity. Um, and so you can learn finally, right? And then you do that with a the therapy okay. and, and you can learn from the actual therapist. And this last year I've made. I feel like he sold himself on the idea that this thing could work, even though maybe it could, uh, but he doesn't seem receptive to change. So I don't see how it's actually going to work for him because he's making excuses as to why he can't respond to comments or stream more often because he's lazy. Such like even if it's not a physical work to change yourself, it's not all the time, but it's like mental work. And I don't think he has the capacity. Tremendous. This fucking yeah. me up. It's uh, right. So whatever works for you, man. I right? went old oh, boogie a, a year ago. Yeah. The egotistical, Damn, um, self-centered, so. extremely defensive you man. Think you're different considerably. Okay. Yeah, considerably. Okay. Uh, I, he, I, here's how I know I'm different. I wouldn't have been here if you'd invited me to do this in December of last year. Oh, thanks, dude. I would have laughed at you. Why? Because this is humiliating. This is difficult. This is hard. Oh, I have to swallow a tremendous amount of uh, sure. It's it's it's. He doesn't have to swallow any pride. He's given that up. His entire life is drama now. That's what he's decided to be his business path. If you're gonna do it, that's fine. Just fucking own it. Don't pretend that you're. That don't, don't pretend. How humiliating is it to look at every mistake you've ever made, print it out, and be well, called out on your? What if you just made more money by doing more work? <laughs> you wouldn't have to deal with any of this. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like he acts like this is his only option. That's what's so funny is he has so many. That's why I don't feel bad for him. He has so many other options and he refuses to take. Or he has another viable option of actually putting out more content and he just doesn't do it. He just doesn't. Like he'd rather make an ass out of himself to make quick money than actually fucking regain his self respect and regain other people's respect for him. Really, is more than anything else. Wanted to for be. thousands of people to see hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands, right? Please, you know? I uh, hope. I hope uh, where I try to structure it, uh, the most episodes is hopefully we end towards a positive note. That is, I hope so. that is where I want to go. Like the but future. Still, but again, I knew walking down here that this was a hard pill to swallow. It's very brave, right? Uh, but okay. but I'm telling you, pre never would have even considered <laughs> doing this. Uh, this. Mua yes. super shattered two dollars. I was hoping you would cover this, Papa. Yeah, a lot of people had asked. <laughs> Uh, it's a drag, I'll tell you that. Okay, so could you tell me what this is, please? This is either the car loan or one of the dumbest purchases I've ever made. Well, it's one of the dumbest purchases you've ever made. This is the car loan. Okay. Uh, well, we'll get to the dumb purchase soon. Yeah, the dumb so. purchase was... But your girlfriend? Well, I have two dogs, they're great. Fucking fry it up and eat it then. Kill your dog and eat them. Oh, that's so insensitive. I don't care anymore, dude. Who cares? It's a dog. It's basically just a fucking smaller cow. Who cares? I spent way too much on a dog. How much? He's purebred. Yeah, why the fuck do you have a dog? Is it a well-bred? Why the fuck do you have a dog if you can't afford it? Give it away. Sell it. What? Miniature poodle. Sure. Which generally will cost you about three, 3000 to 3500 Okay. I bought him in a pet store, so I paid five. <laughs> How much money did you have at the time? Oh, about $108,000 in the bank. Oh, yeah. that's okay. Uh, but again, I was in well, the mind that I needed to build maybe. credit, so I took out- so Get rid of the dog. I have a loan. What the fuck is that? Kill the dog. Is that the personal loan? Yeah, that's the personal loan. Dude, you're killing that's it. That's the, I mean, that's the loan. That's, that's the, the loan. That's the sinker name. Kill your dog. It's the sinker name. Yeah, there you go. So I'm going to call this the dog loan. <laughs> that's the dog loan. Dog what's, loan. Do you, uh, so what's remaining on the car? Do you remember? The what? Do you know what's remaining on the car loan? The car? I don't know. Um, I, I, we should, we either on the last payment or like the last two or three, I think. Okay, we I have might, to look. We it up might for take sure. a look into yeah. it. Uh, and the personal loan has about a thousand, right? Left on it, something like that. That sounds right. Yeah, there is another small what? loan. What? Uh, there's a third one that you're seeing here. Credit card? Uh, no, it's a bed. <clears throat> I, it's a what? I had to get an adjustable bed for my back and leg issues, and my doctor insisted that I looked into getting one. I looked into getting one, so I took out uh, pay like a five hundred, six hundred down, and then took out like a twenty five hundred dollar. Twenty. I mean, honestly, for a bed, that's like a fine. Like a bed is a very important investment. If the doctor said to get a really nice bed and it's actually helped your sleep pattern, that's uh, it's a wor it's worthwhile to spend a lot of money on a bed. Like if it's going to have a because sleep is incredibly important. Like you're doing that for well, you know theoretically for a third of your life. Getting a good night's sleep is the difference between having a productive day and not a productive day. Though I guess that makes no difference. He doesn't have productive days, so. Yeah. When'd you get it? July. Interest rate? Six mm, percent. That's mm. correct. What's the monthly payment? I think it's the one twelve you're looking at. Oh, so that yeah, the that's the one twelve. Yeah, secret is usually a store finance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, credit card. I want to take a look at in a second. Could you pull up your credit card app for me, sure. please? Yeah. 
I think I think you've seen it already, but to show you, I only own like nine hundred dollars on it, and it's uh, yep. it's just a utility card for the business. So it gets used and it gets paid off. It gets used and gets paid off. Do you ever hold balances uh, over the last couple of months? Yes, because it's been thinner than I would have liked. But I've planned to pay it off with this check on the twentieth. So, but it's only. Mm. Mm-hmm. What about paying off your? <laughs> does this guy pay off his? Um, does he pay his taxes? <laughs> I, me personally, I overpay my taxes intentionally. Um, <clears throat> it just makes sense to me to overpay on your taxes. You know, uh, to get more money back at the end of the year. It's something that my mom taught me. She's just like, you should just do this. So I do it and I get back like a lot of money because I overpay drastically. Um, it just scares me because it's only getting thinner except for that spike. Yeah. Well, that spike's going to pay off the. Yeah, there's the. Okay. The credit card, the balance of that. He keeps talking about the spike, and obviously that's the the whatever it was, the um, the documentary. That's the thing. The way that you're supposed to deal with spikes is that you try to spike and then like hold even or hold up over before the spike, right? So let's say you make like a thousand dollars, then you hit a spike and you make like two thousand for the next month. It's like okay, that's great, and then like you go back down. You're hoping that you go back down to like eleven hundred, you know, a little bit over. But you have to be consistent and like make some content and put in some more effort. Like do that, you know, and especially since this guy posts all these short form videos too. I mean, there's so many things from a, a you know, from an insu- influencer perspective. I mean, look at his content on, on fucking YouTube. Like he's, he's, he's missing out on like a huge market, right? This guy's posting some of these videos that are sub 10 minutes, like eight minute video, five minute video and 40 seconds. Why didn't you turn this into, um, a short, a short and put it on TikTok? Anything over five minutes, put it on TikTok as well. Double dip. Those are two different audiences. It would be supremely easy to do this. It wouldn't even be hard, honestly. Um, it's not that difficult. Like you could just go to like Stream Ladder and boom, you're done. Like, look, I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it live because it's just so easy to do. Hold on a second. It's it's crazy. Like, put this fucking effort in. Let me see where I have the thing. Oh, it's right here. Boom. Look, you have this video here. Look, you got this fucking split it. Oh, look. Oh, you ha- you have to do a little more editing than that. It depends on, like, how where you are. But, like, let's say for the spots where you're here, you know, like, it's insanely easy to, to break these down. You can put the boogie in there, too, if you want. Whatever. I'm going to just make it simple. But you get my point. And then, oh, look, you have the screen. Like, you can, you can, you can size it. You can size this out. You can keep it in mind when you're making your content. I doubt that everything in the background is necessarily the most important, right? Like, you're reacting to, oh, look, you know what I mean? Better than the actual gameplay will, but hopefully the game will look great. Also, this trailer does something that I really like that Rockstar does, and it's got a it's huge got variety of body types. You've got, some, you know, it's about having a cell phone in your You can swap around from her to him. Look at this. Look at how fucking easy it was. Now you put this on TikTok. That's it. Like, it's a whole new market. You know, for the most part, it's a different market. Like, you could totally do this. There's so many different things that you could do. Keep in mind. Like, take advantage of the new direction that some content is going. And it's like, where is that? Like, there's no sense of like, oh, shit, I should do that. Like, ever. Like, anywhere. Like, this is the problem. Is that when you are faced with a conflict in your life or a stress point, you need to try to push through it. And he's constantly failing with all the resources. That's the problem with Boogie. Is he fails with all resources available to him. And it's like if you would keep your fucking, you know, your balls to the ground, you would see the direction that these things are moving. Uh, TikTok is really trying to invest in getting people to engage in their like medium form content or longer form for them comparatively. <clears throat> and it's like, why aren't you doing that? You're making them for YouTube anyway. Like, start putting out dailies, short clips of you do whatever. You get my point. You could start thinking for yourself. I'm like 950 bucks. Yeah, credit line wouldn't, available. Wouldn't what become dull over time? What the fuck does that even mean? Well, thirty one dollars and twelve cents. Yeah, kill me. Okay. Uh, Again, I am still trying to do some credit score stuff, so I will pay off a little bit. How do you give a credit score? You already have a house. Um, because eventually I will have to sell that house, and I'll have to move somewhere when I do. Right? Why will you have to sell the house? A twenty one hundred dollar mortgage payment is really hard. So you're saying you're not going to be able to afford the? Payment. I don't know. I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I will. But again, oh my God. I'm always work, planning for the working. possibility that I won't. Right? Late payment fee, October thirty first. Late payment fee, yeah. twenty five dollars. Late, late payment fee, December first. 
What the fuck? He's melting down with his late payment fee. It just happened. Yep. Oh, f me. October was a very lean month. <laughs> oh, and you have a brand new iPhone. Dude, this phone was free. Really? Yeah, Verizon traded us an iPhone 7 for that. Mm, very Thank important you, business <laughs> purpose. Uh, Chick-fil-A. Lucky it was all the way back. Dude, you eat. Don't you eat? I eat. Yeah, but I mean, you don't need to go out and get fast food. If you're, it, this is the thing. I understand getting a fast food every once in a while, but how often are you going out and eating shit that you don't need to be eating? You know, eat people eat the Not reaction to shorts thing. I mean, I, I, when you say like, wouldn't that become dull over time? Like that's content. Content always has the capacity of becoming dull. Like if your if your argument is like, well, that type of content might become dull after time, then don't make content. That's the game. That's is now and always will be the game. That's the way these things work. <laughs> like you that's how social media is the idea that it might not be something people want to see a month from now you just, you put your fucking ear to the ground you know like if you have that part of a problem then you just shouldn't make social media but you put content out there you see if it works and if it does that's great and if it doesn't who cares like right now i'm committed to i had a tiktok i remade it after i got banned like years ago and i barely i'd post on like spurts and i would like post and i would do really well and then i would get like a ban for something because i make like an edgy joke or something that's like too much it would get frustrated or people would just mass report me and then i would just get frustrated and i would stop i've since for like the past two months i've been like really committed to doing shorts some of them do not great on tiktok some of them get like a thousand views some of them get a million views we're just at the point now where that, that's an auxiliary platform to promote myself to get people going like, oh, look, this is Papa Gut. Maybe I'll check out his YouTube, right? Like it, you commit to the idea of it. You know what I mean? Like you got to commit to it. You can't be afraid to take risks. If you as a content creator have the thought of like people might not like or people may not like this, so I won't do it. You're going to fail as a content creator. You have to always be in a position where you're willing to take risks, even if they're slight with like different types of content. Like a while ago, I made... um. I think I made a wow video. I did a reaction to like this season of discovery coming out and people like I posted, I got like 500 views where I typically, I would say on average, get three or 4,000 views did terribly. The next video I posted did like 10 K views. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like I was like, oh, that sucks. And then you just move on and it just gets better. Like you don't have to, you don't have to stew in it. That's getting feedback of like, does it or doesn't it work? Cause if you don't try it and then like, you don't know if you'd fail or not. So you don't know, you don't get the feedback. You don't go like, oh, I didn't get good feedback on it. And obviously you'll have to commit to shifting your TikTok. But like what is Boogie's TikTok even for? Like what's the constructive nature of you shit posting on TikTok? Nothing. So transfer yourself on TikTok to like just start posting your clips. Build that up or whatever the fuck you're going to do. Or posting your, your videos. You know? Love the shorts. Always see them on Reels. Yeah, see? Put them on Instagram as well. You know, that's the whole point. You know, it, it makes people people enjoy it. People like get a laugh out of it. It's cool. I, 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 I like it. So you got to kind of reshift your 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 focus on the way that you you have to have a better relationship with some of like the content and stuff. Um, I definitely eat, I eat a lot. No, nah, you don't have to eat out if we can't afford. A Dude, little I little. can't cook for I can't cook for three people for cheaper than twelve dollars. Oh. I can't cook for three people for cheaper than twelve. Wait a second, let me get. You didn't spend twelve dollars at Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is very expensive. My little handy dandy. Cook. First of all, that was three people. You did not feed three people on twelve dollars. Chicken sandwich is five bucks. So you just got three chicken sandwiches. You didn't That's get any fries. Get, you got yeah. nothing. You feed three people on five bucks in a hurry. Deal. The chicken sandwiches, the chicken patties. Uh, we have HB. I don't know what your version is. But Bro, I don't know what he's talking about. Chick fil A is more than five dollars. What? Sure. You get the fucking frozen chicken patties, put them in the oven, and I promise they are individually less than five dollars. More of an initial we have Walmart, investment. and they are not good chicken patties. And They're exponentially cheaper, whatever else, than fucking Chick fil A is expensive. And I like Chick fil A, it's good. Um, arguably, it's a healthier fast food option, especially if you get like the grilled nuggets. But I doubt he's going there for the grilled nuggets. Let's be fucking real. So, like, what are you talking about here? And that is okay. So more convenient taste. taste. There we and go. On top of that, so now there's more reasons. It's affordable, right? You we eat out two or three days a week. What do you mean? How is Chick Fil Is Chick Fil A magically a, te a tenth of the price in other places? Like, where am I, do I? Am I fucking dumb? Like, what are we talking about here? It adds up to fifteen dollars a week. Yeah, fifteen, thirty, forty-five what, bucks. But it you adds can up to a card. Well, I yeah, that's true. Late payment. That's it's it. not affordable if we can't pay the card. Do I look like the kind of person that's ever made sound decisions about food? No, but that's why I'm trying to. <laughs> that's why is, I'm trying to get this, it across. But this is my weakness. This is always going to be my biggest weakness. No, yeah. no, no. You you just you just allowed yourself infinite. Yeah, you're constantly making excuses. I understand that like eating is an addiction. Blah 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 blah. But like you need to get to a point where you start to try to learn self control. Like excuses for the future oh, that's to take that's responsibility fair. that's actually true yeah yeah so yeah. why not like actually take responsibility and say hey we cannot afford to live right now we don't get to afford to go out and but get that traveling guess what we had for breakfast today what did you have for breakfast today chick-fil-a could we use the app so they gave us free nuggets what about the continental breakfast at the hotel wow. free that's true actually yeah 
Yeah. It's usually just a bowl of cereal. Yes, that's and that's food that goes in your stomach for free. For free. It's usually this guy's high pitched voice killing me. Uh, they have more than just cereal also, typically. You know? But, but okay. You can't afford there, It's a difference between like, yeah, we went on like this work trip type thing. So I spent a little money on Chick Fil A versus just going regularly. Like, what? Also, what the fuck? Why the fuck are you even talking about cooking? What does your girlfriend do? Why isn't she cooking? She does nothing. She doesn't fucking work. Why is she not making the food? I don't understand. To pay this <laughs> boogie. I mean, that's true. That's true. If, if if there's anything I can get across in this episode for you to just walk away with, buddy, if we cannot afford to pay something, if we can't even afford to pay off the credit card, we're getting late fees and we're just getting. F- I mean, I have, I, I have a food budget of about three hundred dollars a month, and then we use that groceries. It includes groceries most of the time. Yeah, for, we do eat. We do eat groceries at home. We have like three hundred dollars a month. What does it cost in Arkansas? Like a fucking dollar to live? There's no way you're only spending three hundred dollars a month on food between the three of you. I just don't believe it. Uh, some of the inexpensive meals we make, we make tacos, we make shrimp pasta. Uh, if I've really shrimp is expensive. Uh, what? Finland splurgy will make burgers at home. Uh, we eat. What, our burgers more. What the fuck? Our burgers are more expensive to you than fucking shrimp. I'm so confused home the majority of the no, time yeah unfortunately we just can't afford to probably go out with it all right yeah, now. I'm, yeah i'm really sorry it sucks i mean it's true yeah um so okay but it would have been more expensive to drive back to fayetteville and and make a taco than it would have been to go to chick-fil-a today but you're right we could have eaten cereal at the buffet yes i was yeah, about to flip the f- <laughs> kill me <laughs> okay what i can't see is the interest accruing Obviously, we have the late fees, but the mobile apps love to try to hide how much interest is. I mean, I, I just pay the, the the minimum balance every month, and, and the minimum yeah. fee is generally. So that's bucks. what you meant by paying it every month? The minimum balance. Sometimes I pay off more. Yeah, for sure. Oh, f- yeah. okay. Well, that's really bad. If we hold a card that's accruing interest, then we can't afford to go out of tea once we just can't. That's true. Yeah. Because interest. Well, this is, is this will this will get paid off on the twentieth with this this huge um all of it all of it yeah the whole thing yeah. huge. Well, paying paycheck to paycheck is that's living that way is uh, excellent. Like, yeah, yeah. From the, what? From What's probably really happening is he knows he's making more money from this next YouTube check, so he's like, oh, I could spend this. Oh, I could spend this. That's what he's doing. Um, the spike that came in AdSense from... Oh, from like the $6,000? That's... Okay. I'm like 7800 800 is what we made in uh, November, which was really awesome. I, I, I hope we can maintain that, but Is this a debt the preferred club? That's the house loan, right? Maybe you could if you put more content out. <laughs> like, what the fuck, you know? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's my current checking balance, so that's what you're... That scares me. Yeah. Anything less than a thought? Yeah. Mm, okay. Exxon, fair, came down here. McDonald's, less fair. Yeah. Chick fil A. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait till you get to the Starbucks. Then you're going to go. 7,800. It's so interesting because it's comparable to what I made in November. So, real mad. I'm not one of those people that freaks out about Starbucks. $5, $5 every couple of days. I love me a pink drink. I love me a. a oh, know. well, I'll freak out about that because you can't afford it. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm not one of those people that when people can afford it, I'm, just go to Dunkin'. Uh, yeah, don't freak yeah, out yeah. as long as you're hitting investing goals that are necessary to survive. Sure. Cameo, I'm glad that came in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's a little extra. Yeah. Yeah. 100 bucks. You can book me at cameo.com. Stream. Yeah, I hate Cameo. I have a Cameo. I used to do it, and I used to do all right money-wise. I hate making Cameos. It makes me feel like I'm doing a fucking performance. It's like I'm dancing for money. I just don't like it. So we are paying for it. Yeah, barely made it back. Yeah, it's necessary for the podcast. That's where we film there. Uh, oh, what is he saying? Like we're paying. For- yeah, yeah. So that's a little extra. Yeah, yeah, hundred bucks. You can book me at Cameo.com. Streamyard, we're paying for it. Yeah, barely, barely made it back. Yeah, it's necessary for the podcast. That's where. If I'm there, uh, well, how much is StreamYard, and why is it necessary for your podcast? Don't you? Why don't you just use OBS? I don't understand. Uh, oh, utilities. Yep, that's fair. Can't can't hate against no utilities. Same with gas. Walmart. You can never really tell what's being purchased from. So Walmart, most of so. my Walmart purchases tend to be meds. Uh, I'm on mm. a lot of meds. The most expensive, which is my testosterone, which is two hundred dollars a month. With your uh, medical issues, do you think McDonald's, Papa John's, Starbucks, McDonald's, Chick Fil A, all in? Uh, all being processed within a couple of days' time is helping. No, no, no. It's not helping your wallet either. No, no, no. Why are you still doing it? If we know we're killing ourselves and we're financially killing ourselves. Well, you know, back in 2018, uh, you know, what are you going to go on that spiel again? Why do you think you're still doing it? I think I wouldn't weigh 400 pounds if I knew the answer to that question. Okay. Well, you obviously had discipline mm-hmm. for a bit, though, because you did go through the surgery, which is very difficult. Well, the surgery did its job, which yeah. is to say uh, it's ex- extremely. The problem with the surgery, the weight loss surgery, is it doesn't change your behavioral, like your behavioral habits. It gets you a surgery, and the idea is to make you sick. That's pretty much it. It makes it so that your food is gross to you, so you won't eat. It doesn't deal with like your particular behavioral issues. You know, that's like a big reason why I don't want to go on Ozempic. It's also incredibly fucking expensive and not covered by insurance. But it's a factor in because I want to change like behavioral habits, and it starts with like counting calories. You know, yeah. So we, I started like a couple of weeks ago, and then I started at four thousand. Um, and now I'm like down to 3,500. I'm just trying to ease myself into just the concept of tracking, you know, make better choices instead of perfect choices. Um, I restricted my stomach intake and it still does to this day. Okay. In, in a lot of the American versions, don't they require you to lose a good amount up front before you yeah, have to get it? Okay. So you had the discipline to do that. 
Um, well, it was a lot easier when um, I walked into a, an emergency room with a blood pressure of 280 over 180. And they're like, hey, you're dying now. Okay. You're not dying eventually. You're dying now. But you kind of are. I mean, this no, is, you said you're not going to live. As unfortunate as this is, this is the healthiest I've ever been. Well, you said you're not, you don't feel like you're going to be here in your 60s. Well, that's just the stark reality when you've done what I've done to my body. I know. That just, yeah, to just, me, that feels like now. That's fair. I, I see it as 15, 20 years from now because that's what it is. Certainly not. Well, you're, yeah. you're 50, 60. It's not 20 years from now. <laughs> well, I, it was mid 60s, what we're saying, right? Okay. So that's 15, 20 years from now. Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. Afford, there's lots of Starbucks. Tokyo House is very expensive. There, Business 90 bucks. Business center. Yeah. That one was a write off. Wow. Yeah. Right off. It doesn't matter if it's a write off. It doesn't mean you get all of it back. <laughs> like who? Oh, it's a write off. Okay. So if you write off three thousand dollars, that just removes it from your taxable income. You still spent three thousand dollars. But if you're like, if your actual like, um, whatever. Let's say you, you your effective tax rate is like twenty percent. Like yeah, you didn't pay your twenty percent. You can you can write that off of your taxable income, so you don't pay twenty percent off of an extra three thousand. It's nice. Like the plan for me is to buy a computer soon by the end of the year, like a nice new one so that I can like stream more effectively. Although I don't know if I really want to invest in it. Um, but it's right off, but you still spend the money on it. So like being taxable, being tax deductible, it doesn't fucking matter. Off of what? <laughs> Prime video, Starbucks, Starbucks, not even a full month back yet. Starbucks is a lot. Arby's, at least get food that tastes like something. Hey. Let me tell you a little bit of something about Arby's, okay? Good fries? They have very good fries. Yeah. But recently, I've been getting to realize the value that you get from Arby's is surprising how much food you get for your amount of investment. Which actually you really about it doesn't taste good. I want to make it very abundantly clear. But again, when you're feeding multiple people, you can save a lot of money at Arby's. Wait until you hear about the grocery store. It'll blow your mind. <laughs> Burger King, Netflix, nothing good on there anyway. Star how come they're not telling us how much money they're spending on these expenses? I don't understand. Bucks. I just canceled Netflix, actually. Good. Yeah. Good lad. I canceled Netflix, and I canceled um, Hulu. And the only thing I have now is Disney+, Plus, which we watch literally every day, uh, and Amazon. Well, your girlfriend's a fucking child mentally, so. Amazon Prime, which I pay for for the shipping for and for the things that we need. We're fucking shocker. Starbucks, Starbucks. More Arby's. It's all food. I mean, like I can save you all the scrolling. It's all food. We're, but we're not even halfway through a month. This, this is this is what I feared going in here. So we have a credit card. Sure. We yeah. have a credit card that, and we weren't able to do the math that we typically do. But I would not be surprised if you did not go out and have these twenty five dollar drops every single day. There you go. See, I knew it was. Oh, it's a five. How can you feed people for five dollars? Get the fuck out of here with five dollars. Uh, twelve to twenty five, something around there. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, we, we spend about twelve to fifteen dollars on on food a day. Let's call it fifteen. Yeah, let's call it fifteen. That's well, actually very fair. Let's call it thirty. We could have paid off. Uh, let's call it thirty. That <laughs> sounds more fair. Yeah. Well, well, let's not call it. Oh, yeah, thirty days. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, let, uh, we could have paid off well half. Now you throw yeah. the Starbucks in there and you throw the business dinner in there. What, is she just not eating? I'm not understanding. Even if you're writing it off, mm -hmm. we probably could have paid off the credit card that is accruing interest and that we're missing fees. By the way, if we're getting hit with late fees. Oh, yeah. That's the worst way. To, I mean, like any, we're not getting Starbucks. any financial show. On Why doesn't your girlfriend just make food for you? On the planet will tell you if you're getting charged late fees or credit card interest or loan interest, uh, then you can't be spending. Then I'm struggling here. Do you give? Do you care? I do. It's uh, again. Then stop. Be an adult. <laughs> Act your age is what I would say. I mean, that's fair. Uh, again, food has. Yeah, you're right. I respect that. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! Jesus Christ. It's not been a area that I have been very successful at controlling. Trust me, I can't really talk about it either, dude. Let me tell you. But at least I can afford it. I've taken. It's bigger than you. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Listen to me, dude. I've eaten more than you at a buffet before. Just okay. Please not in my bathroom. All right. Please. You. I. I appreciate that you think you know what it's like to be addicted to food. Mm. I promise you, you don't. I will be honest. Sure. But also, you don't, you, the, the boogie doesn't engage with any addiction in a, or any behavioral habit, we'll say, in a productive way. He doesn't acknowledge a habit and go, I have this habit. So, like, let's change it. He uses it as a fucking excuse. That's all it is. So, it does, I don't care. I'm not sympathetic to your fucking food addiction because it's an excuse for you and you enjoy having excuses. I think he enjoys being a victim. That's, I, I think he genuinely enjoys being the victim of something. It's one of my big struggles is on a daily basis, like I won't eat a ton during the day, but then I'll get something fatty, greasy, sweet, and then I binge a massive portion in the evening. That yeah, is my typical sure. issue that happens. And I, I yo-yo 30, 40 pounds constantly. Yeah. I'll be good for a while and then I'll yo-yo. So I can't talk about that. I mean, the only, reason, I, the only reason I'm not 600 pounds again is because the surgery is doing its job. Can I ask how much you weigh? 400. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, good I, job. My, my lowest ever was 330. Um, I got back up to 400. This 400 at like five foot two. Jesus. This is where I stayed. Yeah. With, within a, a 20 pound variance. I've and gone I down to 380 and I've gone back up to 400. What does your doctor want you to be? I mean, ideally, you'd like me to be my adult weight of like 175, right? Like that's what anybody would want. Yeah. Um, we're talking knee replacement surgery when I get home. That would be great. This way then you could fucking fly.
they go all that extra skin. You could be like a flying squirrel. It'd be incredible. And I th then, or you guys could save money on blankets. You won't need that anymore, Boogie. You and your girlfriend can just lay underneath all that uh, that that extra, you know, that space, that snuggies worth of uh, body fat there, skin, skin, loose skin, you know. I, I Economic. Cross Blue Shield covered. I ha I pay eight hundred dollars a month for the best insurance I can afford because. Yeah, I I'll be honest. If I was your insurance company, I just wouldn't cover it because obviously it's not going to do anything for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, just kidding. Choice. Absolutely have no choice, right? Yeah. Um, it's extra deductible. Do what? I meet my deductible within the first like two months, most of the time. Yeah. Lots of Amazons and Pam. What's his deductible? Like a thousand dollars? Okay. Express. Yeah. Gas. You must drive a lot. We don't or drive we, a lot, but we we buy a tank a week, give or take. Uh, take a, so do you go in there and get a bunch of drinks then? Because I'm seeing like gas stations. Oh, no. Wait, you go through a tank of we a week? Why? Where? Why do you guys? That's like that's um that's you driving in f fifteen minutes of work and home every day. I used to, that's like I would go through a tank. So what the fuck are you doing? Like, why do you need to go out so much? You don't do anything. <laughs> you drive it around that much to get fast food. How fucking far are you going just to stuff your face, dude? What the hell? No, never. Lot. I don't go into. Yeah, because I'm seriously like two weeks back and I've seen like five gas stations. Well, we did travel here. Um, so we needed to fill up at home. We filled up here. Yeah, but that was yesterday. Like I'm talking in the last two weeks. Starbucks, Starbucks, Burger King, Starbucks. Oh, in the last Domino's. two weeks, I was on my way to Starbucks. Uh, last month, I was on my way to. Um, Cleveland, Ohio, to finish this documentary. So that's probably maybe what you're saying. But no, we how wait how how old is this video? What the fuck? I could have I could have swore that this was more recent than this. My name is Rachel. Just the way this guy made it seem like in the community tab was that they just started talking. They must have filmed this a long time ago. What the fuck? This is weird. Okay, whatever. The Did documentary we, that we talked about, the one that everyone has seen. Yeah, I, I generally, but I. Oh, okay, never mind. They, people have seen it already. What does he? What more work does he need to do? We generally fill up the tank once a week. It's a hybrid. We, yeah, I mean, I'm so confused. Cleveland, Ohio, to finish this documentary. So that's probably maybe. What? what? But no, we the documentary that we talked about, the one that everyone has seen. Yeah, I, I, I generally, but I we generally fill up. The I'm so confused. I don't get it. What? What does he mean? Finish the documentary? If everybody's already seen it. I'm so confused. Tank once a week. It's a hybrid. We, I mean, you have to drive 555 miles a tank is what I get. So Okay, I'm struggling with the eating out once a day thing because now that I'm scrolling through here, I'm seeing about two to three if we're considering Starbucks and we're considering, uh, unless this is when they're hitting, but seriously, scroll yeah, here. I think like that's when 13, 14, 15. Like these are just individual days, 16. And yeah. there's well, two, three in well, each. Well, I think that's probably more when they're hitting. But, but even if that's when they're hitting, still, since this is actually out day by day and three are hitting a day, even if they're coming from a previous day. Like I said we average about like $15 on, on fast food a day. Yeah, no, but I'm, I don't believe 15, three a day. You're 15. No fucking way are you going and only spending $5. For three people on fast food, just no way. What are you talking about? Also, kind of struggling with that because if we go here, okay, yeah, middle of November, uh, Golden Crown, well, sixty-two dollars at Golden Crown. But okay, we'll call that an oddity, right? We just we went to Golden. Well, Crown. I mean, it was. I invited you know somebody out to the, my my editor, mm -hmm. me and my friend wow. Flint and, and my girlfriend. Went your out editor, there. you pay your editor when I need to, yeah. You know, when he's when he's got a when he's got a project that we need Wait, him to work on. Why aren't you why, why aren't you editing your own stuff? You have time i assume um yeah. he's incredibly better at it and so if i have an actual project that needs to <gasps> oh my god guys uh, dude uh, breaking news if you don't do something you don't get good at it holy fuck editing is not that hard especially for the editing he does he doesn't do anything flashy you could edit your own fucking work well this fu dude he's so lazy it's not like he puts out more work because he doesn't edit he doesn't put out anything what editor for what what <laughs> okay to get yeah. done and he works for minimum wage for me what does that mean? What? To be very clear, because he's a friend. So, but occasionally he'll get a business dinner to talk projects and stuff. Uh, and then we're getting back to utility. So we've gone close to a month. So yeah, minimum once a day. And then yeah, you throw you throw an extra okay. five dollars from Starbucks on there as well. Sometimes, sometimes yeah, a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's call so it twenty. Other day. Let's call it twenty. Twenty. But again, but most then, of the time I'm feeding two or three okay. people off of this but, money. Oh my god! But that's fifteen. Is like that's like the minimum we're spending today. Yeah, right, let's right. call it at that point six hundred dollars a month on food. Dude, there's oh. just, I just don't believe it. There's no way he's only spending five dollars going up to fast food. Like, is he dumpster diving? Does they do they watch him eat? <laughs> like, I don't get it. One second. So minimum fifteen a day plus probably five for Starbucks every other day. So two point five a day. Yeah. So then we saw 
uh, about once a week, maybe twice a week. Sometimes there's that Dave and Buster's, there's the Golden Corral, there's that that other thing. So all of a sudden that throws off the average of fifteen a day, turning it to what would probably be evenly distributed twenty twenty five dollars a day. Throwing the Starbucks maybe thirty dollars a day on average. Sure, yeah, yeah. So if if we actually start going off of that, and again, I wasn't able to do the normal math that I was able to do uh, before most episodes. We're looking closer to like nine hundred bucks a month, and I wouldn't be surprised. Let's let's call it that then. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that's definitely there's definitely room to cut. Uh, I I included in any time we talk about these budgets online, I generally say he's got to not be showing something. I don't believe it. Six hundred for the stuff, but nine hundred might be more realistic. But you can't afford six hundred. That's true. That's true. Um, so you said you're feeding multiple people. I understand, obviously, girlfriend situation. Okay, sure. Who else are we feeding? Um, so again, I, my roommates mostly like to remain private. They're not on social media. Okay. Um, so I, I, I do have some difficulty divulging the arrangements that we've made. Okay. But in exchange for uh, a lot of things that I physically cannot do, mm, I can't I mow my lawn. I can't get into the attics. I cannot do a lot of the things that are necessary to be done. So in-house help. That's right. So in exchange for in-house help, okay. uh, every once in a while, I get someone a sandwich. And if I were paying to get the lawn done, my house, it's, yeah, it's way ridiculously more expensive than an Arby sandwich. I would right? rather you. So the deal that I have set up with my roommates now, I'm saving a tremendous amount of money. But that will occasionally include, hey, hey man, you want to go out to dinner? Uh, it's been a month. Can I take you out to dinner tonight? Mm -hmm. Because I, I, or once I'm week. never in a position, I, not to speak, too much about my roommate's private business, but I could never imagine myself in that position where I would get paid so little and do so much mm -hmm. to, to to help a friend. Living is doesn't he live in the house for free and then get money? Get still get minimum wage? I don't. What do you mean? How, how is he not? I feel like he's doing. He's getting more than he's worth probably. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'd like to think I'd be able to, but I, physically, I I can't do most mm -hmm. of these things. Mm -hmm. I can't climb a ladder. Can your girlfriend climb a ladder? <laughs> I can't, you know, these are things I physically cannot do. Can your girlfriend mow a lawn? I'm very blessed in that regard. And so, okay. yeah, it, it's probably, I know it's a stupid investment, but since they're making such a stupid investment this way, I don't mind making a stupid investment their way. Are they paying simple. any rent? Yes. What are you getting? I could have swore this motherfucker told us he lives rent free. Because that helps <clears throat> offset some of the budgetary costs that we're going to have to go into. Do, do my roommates pay rent? There is compensation, not just. In okay, thank you. So do they pay rent? Yes. Well, how much? Uh, you know, uh, he climbs a ladder for me terms of things that they're able to do around the house and things that I cannot do, but there is compensation. Yes. Okay. But it's not something I'm, because again, they are private people. I don't want to get too much into their lives. Totally fine. So they like jack you off or something. I don't understand. I do get that. And I, I want to make sure we're protecting privacy so that, yeah. you know, nothing negative can happen. So that's fair. Um, have you ever downloaded the app Credit Karma? I believe so. I don't have oh, it. Well, uh, guys, go look at creditkarma.com. Oh, if if we could just get you to go through that, it'll take yeah, about sure. five minutes. All right. Credit score. We've jumped up. Yeah, yeah. 673? Yeah, like I said, I, I, I do know the tools to build credit. I Someone yeah. sent me down to do it, and I'm trying to maintain the best credit that I can. Certainly, that's not in the 700s. There's plenty of room, right? Yeah. But considering my financial situation, if I needed a stopgap loan, which I hope I never do. That's what right? emergency funds are for. <laughs> right? Well, again, I don't have them, unfortunately. Well, what's this, actually? $7,732. This is what's left of everything. That's everything. Okay, but that is that is money. That is money. What's it in? This is uh, currently sending in Ethereum, and since I printed this off, it's actually worth more. Yeah, but what have we learned? Well, we've learned that I don't think that market can go any lower. I generally, I, there's no way it's going Sir? to go to zero. It can't go to zero. Sir? It can't go to zero. Sir, what have we learned about our money? You don't take the loss until you sell. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. And also, it was also kind of smart to spread off the losses across multiple years so that I get that nice tax deduction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sleep number. 3,200. Is he saying that the American government, the, the American people are subsidizing his bad decisions? Okay. 18. Cool. Was that the total? <clears throat> Not 2,500. That's why I, I had this. I guess it was more than up. that. Good idea. Okay. And yep, there's the credit card as we saw. Lending USA. Uh, oh, here's the car. 6,472. Is that what I have left? Yeah, which yeah. is a lot more than you suggested. I guess so. Nah, that's why we do the little investigation. Well, that's why, yeah, yeah. Again, I ballpark this stuff in my brain. I've never looked this stuff up, so I'm glad we're looking it up today. And so I know for sure. Lending, uh, personal loan, three thousand four hundred forty-eight. That's my dog. And do you want to know something? Let your dog die. Uh, I'm not trying to be an asshole, but you don't have money to live for yourself. Let, let your dog go free. Worst invest in my life because I don't even like the dog that much. So get rid of the fucking dog. Bring it to a shelter. Get rid of the dog. Really? I love my first dog. He's like a uh, he's my sole dog. He's like the member of the family. The second dog, he's mostly just a dog. Eat it. I, okay. He's a good dog. He's a really good dog. I really like him. Eat the dog. But I didn't want a dog. I wanted another Sammy. You know. And cool. I got Eat a, the I got dog. Instead. Light he's it on fire. Dog. Okay. <laughs> Throw it into a bucket and beat it. <laughs> don't do any of that. Get rid of the dog. Yeah, uh, your car payment is. What are we down to? Two thirty-eight a month. Yeah, you're halfway through the loan. Yeah, we really sounded like we were much closer. I thought I was. Again, I, I think maybe I don't have a solid in, in understanding of how much interest I'm paying up front in some of these loans because I thought I would have paid off considerably. You didn't look, think to check it before. Uh... 
probably okay. more of this the show or? the actual loan by now well, you took out a five year okay so i'm gonna steal from our uh friends and the money guy yeah i mean really you want to pay it off if you're gonna take it on the car loan no more than eight percent of your income on a monthly basis goes to, or it's a, you put twenty percent down every right. time, which is certainly and, considerably less of that. I, I paid half, and on a third three year t- right. three year term. Well, I paid half. The initial loan was ten thousand, because I paid half. I paid half upfront, if I remember correctly. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, uh, and then and again, the only reason I financed the back half because I had the cash, I could have spent it. Um, it was before crypto even dropped. I should have probably done it, but the only reason is again to try to maintain this credit score. I have some small loans. Your dog, your dog. Five thousand dollars. Yeah. No, it's it thinks it's at twenty three point four nine percent interest is what it says you are at. That's the loan. No, that you, can't be right. Are you sure? That's what I think that it that is. That it even is. legal to make a twenty three percent loan? Yeah, oh yeah, there's people on my show all the time. That you doesn't seem me? legal. 30, credit cards are over thirty percent. Your credit card's probably over thirty percent. I would. Mine's like twenty seven percent. Suck it, bitch. I, I mean, like it's the minimum payment is like twenty dollars a month. So off of a you know thousand, a thousand. You know why the minimum payment is twenty dollars a month? Because they want the interest to continue to accrue. Oh, okay. All right. That's, I thought I was paying your benefit. Off. No. Oh, but buddy. the number the numbers numbers never broken over like a thousand. Oh, so buddy. no. My number, my okay, I am now I'm understanding where we might be in terms of financial knowledge. No, that's not how it works. Okay, with the credit okay. cards. But then educate me. Yeah, help, so, help, yes, well, please. Well, the credit card, for credit cards we never want to hold a balance anyway because if okay. we're holding a balance, whether or not you're making a minimum monthly payment, it's accruing interest unless it's in an interest free period. So if I were to pay anything off first, it's clearly this dog loan. That's got to be right. What was nine hundred eighty six again? What did we put down for that? I think that's just the credit card balance. Oh, uh, and no. again, that's a secured credit card, so I don't think the interest is very high. That. It's secured with a thousand dollar CD. Oh, here, let me find out. Uh, yeah, CD's nuts. <laughs> yeah, what? Did, t- tell them because <laughs> I think I made a smart financial decision with that credit card because it's, it's a secured card. It's financed, uh, secured with a thousand dollar CD. So my understanding is the interest rate was going to be very, very low on it. Uh, can you bring up the credit card again? Yeah. So now we have a full picture of your debt and where yes. it's gone. Right. What's good is it looks like you're not really. You don't have anything in collections or anything, which is good. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... Well, yeah, if he did, then you'd have bad credit, no? No, I feel like that's potentially next steps if we have to drain... Okay, so the $7,732 that's in Ethereum, that... Oh, this is just a daily graph. Where was that at some point, and you've been withdrawing from it to survive? Yeah, at the beginning of the year, if you see in the documentary, in February, this was 30000 but I've had to withdraw from it. This year? Yeah. 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 And, and again, if this was a 401... If you've seen the documentary that we uh, had him go to this place because we were still working on the documentary... <laughs> like, well, the, dude, there's so many things that just don't add up. What he's saying, okay, it'd be considerably harder to have tapped that money when I needed it. Well, well, I, it would have certainly been more secure, and I wouldn't have lost seventy five percent of it overnight. You know, well, but over the years, if you were putting money into this a solo four hundred one k instead of this, you'd have been saving a lot on taxes anyway. Sure, tax yeah. benefits with that. Now, I wouldn't want you to withdraw and take penalties from that anyway. You could take out loans against it. Wouldn't want you to do that either. But I think, I think a lot of it. We're going to create your budget, but what is very clear, if we're doing $900 a month eating out in different forms, we could pay these debts off very quickly. So my interest charge for this is 19. Yeah, make sure you just moved on from that one. Didn't really engage with that. Incredible. $1.59 for a $1,000 budget, for a $1,000 balance. So what's that come out to? One second. 24%. Well, then I'm paying that off immediately. Yeah, that's what I'd pay off immediately because, one, you can pay it off by not eating out for literally a single month. then, Then how much is left on the on the dog loan? The dog loan we're sitting at about three thousand four hundred. Throw your dog into the garbage, and there's zero dollars in the dog loan. Forty-eight. So and the, the bed is also three thousand two hundred nineteen. Can you bring up credit karma again? Because what I can see is yeah. the bed interest rate. Right. Because that can also. Again, you know how they got me on the bed is number one, it was medically required. Yeah. Um, and then secondly, you know, I'm like, I, I can't afford to pay for this in cash, so I have mm-hmm. to get it. Yeah. Okay. The bed makes sense though to have the bed loan. The dog doesn't make sense if you can't afford the fucking dog. Um. And Usually, a lot of a lot of beds though, you can get zero percent. As you said, I did for like. Six months or something. I well, think. Well, in that case, you figure out what's the minimum monthly payment required to pay it off in six months. Right. But of course, I mean, you, you tell me. I don't know. I just I pulled the trigger. I found oh, I found one. Already, you know, so. President's Day sale, whatever. Don't look at this. You have outstanding approval odds on two credit cards and three personal loans. Oh, I would never take out another. Yeah, yeah. please, yeah. please don't. Yeah, never. We don't need you to have to come back on. Nope. <laughs> the next time I have you on, I want it because you've paid off. I mean, give me credit for one thing. I keep I keep it paid if I can, if it's at all humanly possible. Like if. Uh, give me credit for one thing. I act like an adult sometimes. Okay. Well, you're an adult, so it's expected. If a bill is due, the bill gets paid. No. I obviously no. not the credit cards. Well, but I like mean, the loan pay, the, the loan payments get made. How can I give you that due? Nothing's though? defaulted at least. I can't be, right? I can't give you that credit that's though. Right. If if there's that's one right. of the if one of any of the things are not being paid, I can't give you the credit of making the payments. I'm see sorry. that? See that and I think maybe uh, again, one of the reasons I pat myself on the back for this and why you never would is because growing up, we had things repossessed all the time. Cars repossessed, yeah. televisions repossessed, furniture repossessed because everything was bought on credit, right? Yeah. And so that was such a commonplace. I feel so happy and secure that I can pay my bills. I feel so happy and secure that 
No, they are getting paid. I'm paying not my the credit card. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I'm paying my bills except for the credit card. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm paying some of my bills. Yeah, that's usually how it works. When you have too many bills, you still pay some of your bills. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> okay. It's not finding the interest. Do you have the app for it? Do you know that? I do, I think. Oh, if you have the app for it, we could probably I think it's straight through sleep number, maybe. I think this one was 0%, if I'm not mistaken. Buddy, if no, if if four of these bad debts, I'm considering the house a good debt. If the other four <laughs> bad debts, bad, just absolute death debt was out of your life, yeah, it lowers your risk profile immensely. It he's, lowers he's your telling you to kill your dog immensely. Well, that's what that's where I want to get. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, uh, but get it's going to take dog. some things that I'm concerned you're you might not be willing to do. Get rid of the to dog. To be completely honest, but I get mean, rid of the dog. We'll, we'll talk about that. And you, well, we'll there's another that. financial plan we'll get into in a minute. I think you're. Oh, you have your own plan. What are you going to do? Start working? <laughs> Start actually doing work? Yeah. No, incredible. You you're going to laugh when I say it though, but and your audience will laugh. Um, well, I would also just rather you be like financially like safe than give me a good segment. <laughs> Well, it's right. both. It's both. In the, okay. It's both. In the end, you're a human being, man. Yeah, of course, yeah. So the a spike makes this a little hard, but I across the income sources you gave me, we are having an average of four thousand two hundred sixty nine dollars and ninety six cents. Now, that's right. That's right about where it is. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Are you setting thirty percent aside for taxes? I can't. Right. Yeah. Great. Good job, Boogie. You fucking idiot. What are you gonna do? In, uh, uh, what did you, what did you do these last few quarterlies? When quarterly payments uh okay. i literally can't afford to make quarterly payments so i'm paying in lump sums at the beginning of the year most of the time okay and there's penalties for that yep okay if you can't afford to do them quarterly how are we gonna do yeah, how do you afford to do them in the lump sum if you can't afford to do it quarterly how does that make any fucking sense whatsoever <clears throat> do them annually with penalties uh i think this year i'll end up having to set up a payment plan with the u.s government what'd you do for last year we what? haven't talked about it much um it was a very reasonably it was a, a fairly reasonable sum it was paid no is it on a payment plan? I'm about twenty two hundred dollars. Okay, hmm? it's a very important piece of this debt. It is. It's interesting because the episode that's coming out before yours was another YouTuber who did not pay his taxes. Which one? Uh, Darkside Phil. Oh, maybe I should have him on. No, it's a YouTuber that doesn't upload anymore. He got to hundred thousand subscribers and then quit. Now there's only the one year, and I've just been waiting for. No, I guess, I guess we're, no, we're not going to know who it is. Oh, maybe it's the person that's here. My name is Rachel. Just oh, it's Rachel. <clears throat> I guess it's this guy. My name is. Chandler, I'm from Kansas. I'm okay, now I get. There's no fucking way Chandler. Think you get their own tools? Yes. Are you a contractor? Uh, no, I'm not a contractor. It's just I guess. What the fuck did is this guy? Is this guy on like too much testosterone? <laughs> what the fuck did he suck? Did he like? What, what did he fill a balloon with his voice? I don't understand. With all the squeakiness of his voice, I'm so, what the fuck? Firm to knock on the door. Get it solved. <laughs> what the um, fuck? But at the beginning of this year, I was not in a position where. I could do it. I'm like, I have to make it to the stock drops. Okay. And let's see if there's a spike that comes with it and I'll pay it then. And that's the world we're in now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. Well, you had 30 in crypto. You could have paid it. I could have, but I knew I, I looked at, and, and this is a terrible way to live, but this is how I looked at it. I can pull this out of crypto now and potentially miss a house payment at the end of the year. Yeah. So I would rather stay in the house until I have to leave it yeah. and, and continue to build equity. And maybe I'll never have to leave it. But if that one financial, if I pulled this 2000 and paid the U.S. government, which I know they're patient. I, I owe the money. They are very patient. The U.S. government it, it is so patient. <laughs> they they also have the guns. Payments. Yeah. Well, but I'll tell you, having had this very similar problem in my 20s with. You know, it's so interesting because if you just considered doing work more often, you might actually make money. You fucking idiot. It's so stupid listening to this guy. Talk. A small business really? collapsing yeah. and owing them $1,500 then. They were very eager to work with you. They're like, just give us anything, man. But, you know, the U.S. government works slow and believe it. So is this what this guy wants to do? He wants to put himself in a situation where he can, like, take advantage of the tax. And people are like, all right, you owe 10000 We'll just, just give us five. Is that why he doesn't pay his taxes? Pro tip, guys, don't pay your taxes. Apparently. They're not. They're surprisingly cool when it comes to owing the money. Okay. So many people have had different experiences. Just to let you know. Yeah, I've had. No, I- Good. The, the U.S. government should fucking steal that money from Boogie. They should take a part of his house. <laughs> Fuck that. The fuck out of here. They just set me up on a, a payment plan. They're literally like, what can you afford? I'm like, well, I'm on disability now. So yeah. what do you think I can afford? They're like, can you afford to get? How is he on disability if he's making like 40 grand a year? That just doesn't seem right. About 10% of that. And I'm like, no, I can't give 10% of $850. Mm-hmm. I'm living off of $850. What if they knew right. you were spending $900 a month on fast food? I mean, they probably would uh, be able to not send this to the IRS. <laughs> Yeah, probably not great. It's like a fucking child. I mean, they know. The, no, the government knows, right? They, yeah, they have, they're like totally tracking your fast food spending. I mean, they know. They look at you. So yeah, they know. Access to my credit card records, right? I'm they just know. saying if there's one they people know. we don't, it's the IRS. That's true. But they know. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, we've had, okay. uh, not for some to 2,200, but there's been people in the media industry in general who have, you know, not paid taxes. They've gone to jail. If you owe them a significant amount of money, yes. Good. then yes, yeah. they do not consider $2,000. No, I know. No, but that's all I'm saying is like, well, this isn't all roses and butterflies. The best I can get for you um, on this loan is mm -hmm. that it's 0% for 24 months. Because right? mm. that's pretty much standard on the website. Yeah, when do you take it out? July. Okay, so we're in the 0% interest period. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Or no, June. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, June. <laughs> Sorry, I was panicking. I was like, because you, you almost sent me into you, one. I got it before you. Yeah, so. Does she work? We're working on that. Okay, because that would be, that's, uh, you know, not required to. We're not married, no. you know, anything like that. Uh, if we are married, that's a conversation of what do we need to be as a future? How do we hit financial goals? We might need to work, obviously. The majority of her, everything is taken care of. But the one thing that she's not doing is bringing income in. Yeah, but she's Wait, called. What does that mean? Hold on. Oh. Uh, if we are married, that's a conversation of what do we need to be as a future? How do we hit financial goals? We might need to work, obviously. The majority of her, everything is taken care of. But the one thing that she's not doing is bringing income in. Yeah. Okay. The majority of her everything is being taken. What does that What does that sound like to me? That sounds like mommy and daddy are paying for her to live there. Is that what I'm hearing right now? What the fuck? That doesn't even make sense to me, dude. What is happening here? What a weird fucking world, dude. I, uh, what did I say before? Sounds like somebody. What 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 other explanation is there, by the way? I'd love to hear it. it. Doesn't exist. There's no other explanation. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck? <laughs> this shit is wild, dude. I just I can't even I can't even handle it anymore. I don't even get it. <laughs> I don't get it. This is so fucking crazy, dude. What is happening? Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> okay. But she's costing pretty much nothing going on. Uh, okay, let's capture some okay. of your other things. We have Verizon 222. Do what? The Verizon 222? Yes, yeah, we got two lines. Oh. Yeah. You have your, your phone's finance? iPads? Mm, Apple Watches? Not iPads, no. Uh, Verizon's expensive. There is, yeah, Verizon's expensive. There is, uh, there was like a $500 balance after trading on that phone on this one. So we are we are paying that off. But that is, again, at 0%. You're going to hate it because, I mean, Verizon is like the best nationwide, but when we just can't afford to live, like Mint Mobile. I didn't even know what that is. Ryan Reynolds, Mint Mobile? I don't watch commercials, man. Okay. Well, check it out, dude. I'll, I'll text you a link. You can be, it can be like 30 bucks a line. Okay. That, well, I mean, I'll still have to pay off this phone before I get there. But yes. Oh, oh. So I, wait. Yeah, like I said, the phone was zeroed out. It, it, I thought he said the phone was free. What is he talking What the fuck is he talking about? It, it added up to like there was a balance of $420 spread across 24 months. Oh. Do you know what the word free means or like, what the fuck are we talking about here? <laughs> but it's 0% interest. I know, but we can't switch to another carrier. Yeah. Yeah. This guy just said his phone was free and now he's telling us it's cost like $400. He's, so, he's such a dumb, shitty liar. He's like, it's such an asshole. Yeah. Well, there goes saving $150. All right. Uh, car insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta have, gotta have car insurance. Gotta have car insurance. The YouTuber, didn't, uh, the other one I was just talking about who didn't pay his taxes does not have car insurance. Very bad. I, I didn't for the first 30 years of my life. That's not good. Yeah, that was not good. Do you have, uh, 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 what, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. 775 is your minimum monthly for insurance. Yeah, that's insurance. Blue Cross Blue Shield. Keeps me alive. Unfortunately, uh, for them, yeah, unfortunately, they are losing there. a lot of money on this. <laughs> I can tell you that. They are spending way more than I'm giving them at this point. Yeah. Like 15 years ago, you may have not been able to get health insurance at this point. I couldn't. Yeah. yeah. If it wasn't for uh, the Obama administration that made it possible for me to purchase. Oh, shout out to Barack Obama. I maybe, maybe, maybe you did a bad thing, Brock. Maybe you did a, a bad thing, B-Man. Insurance as a self-employed person, I would have never had access to health insurance. Okay. Um. So how many people do you have to buy groceries for? Like every day type thing? Me and her. Just you two. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, could, we do have somebody that, uh, again, will we'll cook for free as long as they're eating. Um. So we do take advantage of that. So oh, is it called her? Does she cook? For, what does she cook? <laughs> what value does she have? What the fuck? Apparently means we're cooking for three most of the times. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would try to get her to the two with some cooking, getting yeah. done. Um, so what we did on our grocery store website, our local grocery store, ATB, you can probably do this on Walmart, I assume. We created like a meal prepping thing for each week, uh, right. 2,500 calories a day per person plus snacks. Um, uh, we sort Oh, that's interesting. Is that they said on their Patreon? the recipes for what we needed for each meal by I should cheapest. point out, I should point out that when we eat at home, we eat cheap. We, we eat more sandwiches than we eat anything else. Okay. Yeah. Well, either way, sort the ingredients. 
have her cook by cheap and then do like a pickup order for it which mm-hmm. can be free depending on the store um and that way you're not going through the aisles you're not picking up everything and we had for a single person with snacks and desserts 2500 calories a day good eating 250 bucks a month that's comfortably incredible. that's incredible comfortably but most people aren't you know willing to get into the nitty-gritty of it you know how is that why does boogie say that's incredible he said that he only spends 300 dollars a month on groceries but for like two or three people so why would that be incredible to you if you're well, that's right, because he's spending an extra nine hundred dollars plus. Okay, I wonder if the I wonder if his girlfriend has a credit card for mommy and daddy, and if they like pay for his lunch sometimes too. Name course, brands yeah, yeah. and eating a unique meal every day. But and I want everyone to be able to do that. I want everyone I'll to be, be able honest to do with that. you. When every, we can't afford it. Everything hard. in our house is great value, one hundred percent of the time. Because um, number orders. one, it's a huge waste of money. The food doesn't taste different. The 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 products aren't any better. That's not true. It does taste different, just to be clear. Um, and secondly, we're in Walmart country, right? Like so. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you're like, I understand that they would probably like what is it called, like white label, but they do taste different. Like I've had the generic of uh, Walmart pop tart, uh, pop tarts, Walmart hot pockets. They don't taste the same. They're not as good. Uh, by the local brand, you know, you're well, kind all of a I'm trader saying, in our area. But yeah, at least that we're already doing that. Yeah. All I'm saying is I could get you guys four hundred fifty bucks a month in groceries for you too, with aggressive meal prepping. We could. That sounds very reasonable. Yeah. Now I have something called- reasonable. Who's going to do it? Your girlfriend? Tell her to do work. Tell her to do something. Toilet paper fund. This is just whatever else is needed to survive the household. So it's the toothpaste, the toothbrush, you know, whatever is needed. Sure. It could even be like some car maintenance. Everything's going to ebb and flow on a monthly basis. I'm going to put 150 bucks there. Sure. Medical on a monthly basis, medications. What is coming out on average? About 1500 for health insurance and medications. Oh, okay. Not health insurance. Uh, just and, and now we're doing just medications. Well, I guess I could subtract the yeah. health insurance. Uh, so two so 700. Yeah, in the neighborhood, five to seven hundred, depending on the month. Okay, so six hundred if we average. Yeah. Okay. Let me figure out your debt minimum monthly payments, including mortgage. Actually, I'm gonna do. Let's do mortgage separately, including property taxes and insurance and all that good stuff. And did we get through utilities on this or not? I can't remember. Uh, I did not see you. T- uh, oh, they should have been in some of the screenshots. Um, here, here it is. I think water payment is in here. So this is this water, gas, water. Uh, water. I mean, like, what's the productive nature of this entire conversation? I mean, Boogie knows what he has to do to change. Like at this point, it's just to, for what exposure, I guess. Uh, okay. Or electric. Oh, sorry. No, that is water and trash removal. And that's it. That's what the city charges. It sucks. Okay. So you have uh, electricity on the side. Uh, electricity is a whole other bill, which you okay. should have here as well. So, so this is just, this is just trash. Yeah. And our, it's, our city is highway robber. It's insane. That's trash and water. Do they compensate it with low property taxes at least? Like, yeah, we get hammered a, with aggressive. Our pro- yeah, our property taxes are better. Okay. Oh, okay. So then that's not really highway robbery. <laughs> then usually that's just included in like property taxes, though. No? Like, okay, how much? Uh, how much in electricity and gas then? Um, depends on the month. Yeah, give me uh, your average. I, they should be printed out for the last month here. I, I I think I sent them to you. I think the last month in electricity was two fifty. Yep. Uh, it's a little more than that, but yep. And then what was the other one you're asking about? Gas, I think, comes out to in the winter close to 150. In the summer, down to as little as 50. Uh, so it's called at 100. And then, um, what was the other one? <clears throat> Water, gas, electric. We do pay for cable, which is $100 a month. Uh, I'm sorry. Not but, cable, sorry, internet, um, which I'm a YouTuber. Yes. Right. Well, everyone, you need internet to survive, yeah. to do jobs, to do anything. Right. $99 a month. We got a really good deal when it comes to internet. That's for a gigabit. And this is, this is slow as the offer. So I can't even get it cheaper if I wanted to. Why is internet so expensive out there? It's weird. I pay like a hundred bucks for my internet. It's really solid, but okay, whatever. Um, <clears throat> um, let me get the debt minimum monthly payments besides the mortgage. Not including whatever the IRS might be, because we don't know yet. Yep. Yeah, this extra six hundred fifty-three dollars could clear you. Not clear you up, but it, it would help a lot. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's not going to take any of your advice, obviously. I ballpark, and in, in like I've said publicly, uh, right around seven thousand for like minimum payments across everything. Is that about what close to what you got? Uh, I don't know just yet. I just want to. I want to make sure where we've got everything that you're required to have. Gas. How much do we think on a monthly basis? Like I said, gas in the winter is because it's- sorry, car gas. Oh, very little. I drive a hybrid, so twenty forty, maybe eighty dollars a month, if that. Okay, we'll be conservative and say eighty. Yeah. I mean, you don't really have anywhere to drive to, so why? Okay. <laughs> whatever anything else that you are required to take care of on a minimum monthly basis there were some subscriptions like uh stream stream yard and stuff oh yeah it's like a 25 dollars subscription to stream yard any other subscription why what does he have a 25 dollars subscription to stream yard for i don't get that why does he need a stream yard subscription obs is free that's what i use you just download obs and you can record everything 
<laughs> what the fuck do you need? What do you need StreamYard for? What does he use that for? I don't get it. Options that are mandatory? Mandatory. I'm not throwing Disney Plus in there. I'm sorry. I think I could... Uh... I'm just trying to. Well, if he doesn't have Disney Plus, then how is if he? Oh, excuse me. If he doesn't have Disney Plus, then how is he going to sit his girlfriend down in front of the? Jayco super chatted five the TV dollars. Tractor. Hey, papa. Love the content. Definitely Thanks, more interesting than studying for finals. Lol. Well, also, this is my first okay. time watching the stream. Incredible. Well, you should make sure you study for your finals. Okay, make sure you get your shit done. You don't want to end up like Boogie, huh? You get your mandatory in order to survive type. Streamlabs might. Oh, that can't be the cheapest plan. I have I have uh, Xfinity, and I've had a plan for like forty bucks, and I live in Arkansas. Oh, well, okay. Well, he's just full of shit. I mean, he doesn't really stream, so it's not like he needs expensive internet. What's my Realm Crusader Strike Horde? Yeah, yep. Count, but that's nine dollars a month. Okay, Should I make so, it in my own uh, guild. Then? Papa Gut. It's called that. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's everything. Okay. I did a miles? really good job of canceling everything good. in the last few months. How many miles is on that car? Twelve thousand, I think. Yeah, where's the bent key subscription? <laughs> where's the Daily Wire bent key subscription? Oh, I've had to take oh. a lot of road trips. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I bought well, it. Twelve thousand is nothing. I bought it with less than a thousand miles on it. That's incredible. Yeah. I might be wrong. It might be closer to eighteen if I if I'm ballparking it. She could go check, but I think it's it's under twenty for sure. I think. I'm happy about that though. It doesn't mean we have to worry about anything too major happening soon. Mm. <laughs> Somebody came in here. First time joining your live stream. Love your content. Been watching your YouTube videos. Okay, listen. The meme around here is everybody tells me it's their first time. So is this actually your first time or are you fucking with me? <laughs> Alright, it's a real question, dude. What the fuck? Are you fucking with me, dude? Are you fucking with me? Now, they say uh, one of the reasons I bought this car is like all the YouTube reviewers said this specific year and that specific model, they said at well over 150,000 miles before you even start to see issues. So, and I knew it would take a lifetime for me to put that on it, even with trips like this, you know, for business. Especially and stuff. since in 2018, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I didn't really want to be alive anymore. Cool. Hey, I, I'll never put that much mileage on it. 5,856 in order to survive. So a little under. But that's because I think we're throwing in a little less wants. You said in your budget you had like 900 for food or something. Yeah. It's like uh, if we get rid of wants, only just basic survival, which is what you should be on. If you worked, you'd make more money. Because, Oh, again, it's actually your first time. <laughs> then welcome to the stream. We still bring in a thousand... Six hundred dollars less on a monthly basis yeah. than we need to survive. Yep. Which, and we're real close to that being zero. Yeah. So now, I do have one thing we haven't included here. Oh, okay. Great. Um, and it is the other backup plan that I've had, which is yeah. so incredibly stupid. Go. On. Um, is it working? I started playing a card game called Mad at the Gathering back in 1994. Yeah. Oh God, I happened to purchase a lot of cards at a time. Yeah. That this, they yeah. are worth a lot. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, Sell them. So I have cards that have been my backup plan. For the entirety of my life, right? Yeah. Since 1994, I'm like, you know, these cards continue to accrue value. The bottom will fall sell out them, eventually. Sell them. Here we are 31 years later. Sell them and an invest them into cryptocurrency. It's probably your best bet, frankly. I think that any any normal person would uh, say that. You know? And they've gone nowhere but up. I generally get about 70% of the value of what a card's worth. Uh, and so, for example... So I, sell all of your fucking cards and start working. I, I was gifted a card for nine years ago for my 40th birthday. Uh, they paid $80 for it. It's currently worth about $2,700. Good. Sell um, it. So I do have additional assets. Can you give me conservative value of your entire collection? Conservative. I mean, extremely conservative yes, would please. be if I bulk sold it tomorrow. Yeah. 50K. But my plan is to continue to do what I've been doing over the last year, which is sell Nothing. it periodically survive. to survive, right? Because- uh, Why would anybody even make fun of him for this? Why would anybody be like, oh, you idiot? <laughs> yeah, sell your cards, child. Like, um, with the exception of you know the COVID bubble hitting this market. Um, and I wouldn't have sold during COVID because I didn't need the money, right? Yeah. Um, other than the COVID bubble bursting, these cards have continued to maintain value. Um, so I sell them mm. as I as I go. Now I'm learning today from you that I should absolutely go home, sell ten thousand dollars worth, and throw it at these high interest loans. They're probably not appreciating twenty five percent. No, yeah. certainly not. Certainly not. No, if you learned anything from what he's saying, you would go home and sell all fifty thousand dollars worth of cards, pay off all the interest and loans that you have, and then invest the rest of the money into like the S and P five hundred. Because the crypto and this is it's in crypto, so. One, I would just have this in a high yield savings account anyway, but it's going to last five more months at the max. Yep. If it stays this value, you yep. never know what can happen with crypto. Five more months. So, and I wasn't lying. It's, it's gone up since I printed it. It's 8,000, it right? Yeah. We made a couple bucks. I would the sell it. It's on the climb. Do not invest. Do not invest. Uh, invest, but not in that. Not in crypto. <laughs> uh, okay. 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 So with the bad debt that we have, this is what I would do today. 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 Um, tomorrow. Because <laughs> you get home tomorrow. But... Yeah. High interest, bad debt debt, including, I'm, I'm putting the IRS in there, man. 
Because it's about to get to be like death interest. Yeah, they'll, they'll knock on the door soon. Yeah, and I, I would rather knock on their door before they knock on yours. That's fair. I would sell $16,307.88. How much? $16,307.88. That's pretty doable. That wipes out IRS. It wipes out credit card. It wipes out the bed. It wipes out the car. And it wipes out the dog. Loan, not the dog. But Bro, at this point, just wipe out the fucking dog. Wipe out the dog. Get rid of the dog. It doesn't need to exist ever, ever anywhere. The car. You, in your situation, not having a car debt, a dep- uh, leverage on a depreciating asset, lowers your risk pri- profile immensely. Okay, extremely stupid question. Yeah. It's my understanding that I should maintain some Willow level Amnesty Super to cont- $5. Hey, Papa, my what girlfriend up? who showed me your content left me and took the kid. I've been watching her VODs since, and this is my first time catching the stream. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? That sucks. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but I, I just don't. I, I have a hard time believing that. That's, that's insane. My girlfriend who showed me, what, what the fuck? Is that real, dude? That's insane. I'm sorry for your loss, brother. I truly am. That's fucking wild, my man. That's fucking, that's fucking booty hole poop. All right, if that's real, that's fucking crazy. Continue to build credit. Sure. It's so, because, I, again, I do think relocating, selling my existing home mm-hmm. and buying a cheaper one is something that will still be in my future, even with this. I could have swore that this guy said that he can't sell his home because his friend has to live with him, and he made some sketchy, weird fucking excuse about it. What is he talking about? So you'll so still have your If mortgage. I were to keep a loan, is the mortgage count? Oh, absolutely. Is that the one they're looking for? Well, they're, they're looking for everything. They're looking for diversification. They're looking for age. They're looking for low balances. They're looking for on-time payments. What I would do in your situation is... Uh, I've- she left you two years ago? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, did she show you my content two years ago? That's wild. Okay. Cool. You say keep the mortgage because it's a low rate. It's great. Getting rid of the other loans, even if low your credit rate. score takes a hit because the age it's goes great. down, doesn't matter anyway because right now your credit score in what exists within it of taking out debt is taking advantage of you. You're not taking advantage of it. Mm-hmm. So there's really no purpose right now of you like shooting for that good credit score because this is f-ing you. What I would do potentially, you're not a credit card person. Right. Like you can't manage it. You're not paying the payments. But if it is that important to you, the one thing I would might consider if you can prove to yourself over the course of six months that you only put gas on your credit card and you pay off the entire balance every month. That's smart. I will concede that you're allowed to do that. And that will at least, that in the mortgage, man, ba, ba, you'll be in the 700s credit score wise. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. Should be chill. Okay. It should be chill. You might get a hit in a bit for a bit because your overall credit age is going to go down because some accounts are going to close for paying them off. Right. But honestly, with your credit card getting paid off, think of even with those, I wouldn't be surprised if it jumped to about 700 anyway. Because uh, one of the main, I, I debated even talking about this, and I don't know if it'll make the final cut or not, but one of the major reasons I want to make sure that I can take out a loan is because there's a very real chance of a medical emergency. Mm. And I, for the thing that I'm dealing with. Didn't you say you already hit your deductible though? So would it really matter? I think, okay. With, you have to pay up front. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. No. Well, of course, obviously. I mean, death over life. Life comes first. Yeah. So, um, I, I, I get your fear around that. Um, yeah, I think your credit score. I'm really just fucking shocked that this guy is not like, why don't you do more work? Like, there, <laughs> that should have been the most serious conversation about this entire thing. And I don't understand why that is there. I feel like he's going way too easy on him. Maybe it maybe doesn't come up yet, but I feel like it would have already. Again, we'll actually be in a better place because right now what's holding it back, looking at your credit, is a high credit card balance. You know, you want to be under that 30% utilization. If we just have you swiping your credit card on gas, paying off the balance every month, and can, having the mortgage consistent, um, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a good score. Yeah. Okay. Like, are we you're talking eight hundreds? You're, you're gonna have a phantom tax. Sticky out your yacht for the Sigma Rizzler. four dollars and ninety nine hey, cents. Awesome home stuff, Papa. First time me watching the stream, and your racist jokes cured my alcoholism. I appreciate that, brother. I, I'm happy that racism could have a positive impact on the world. It's a beautiful thing. I appreciate all the other races in the world taking the burden to cure this guy's alcoholism. <laughs> oh, shit. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Jesus Christ. No, but like you'll be in the sevens. Right, right. So, and I think when we're looking at this minimum structure, Fuck I think my income. Super okay. two dollars. If you're that guy's ex watching this, I hate you. Okay. Well, that's nice of the few. <laughs> I like that we're all sticking together. What a beautiful, what a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. Coming in the last thirty days has been enough to cover that. Yes. Um, and this YouTube- five- bro, maybe he's afraid of being canceled on Twitter. He had a question, Boogie. Why doesn't he upload more? I don't know what you're saying. Are you saying that he did question him? I'm a little confused by what you're st- by your statement. Just to be clear, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Well, right, right. Yeah. This, this podcast is going to start paying out. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we just hit profitability in the third episode. That's incredible, 
right? It's incredible. Um, my cut is small, it's 25%, right? But I own 25% of this thing. It's not really small considering there's three people on the podcast. That's actually huge considering. When you talk about small, there's like, there's three, there's two other people on the podcast. Then there's like an editor that has to get paid. And then are, isn't there like, isn't there like the low cow segment and then like the farmers segment as well? And they like, that's insane. You're getting actually a ridiculous amount of money on that. And I foresee being able to reach these minimums throughout at least the, the rest of next year. I don't know if it'll get better than that. Um, but I think, I think I'm in a position right now after the doc coming out and this podcast and everything else, I think I'm in a position where I reach these minimums. You I know, won't have much wiggling room after that. And it'd be a really well, good idea to pay all of this down. You need to tomorrow. Yeah, right. Exactly. As soon as I get home. But you know, the minimums don't matter for then spending an additional 900 going out to eat and then all oh, whatever else, you know, yeah. the extra yeah. unnecessities are unnecessities right now. If we can't afford it, That's we fair. currently can't. That's so fair. what is required through again, a and not he always does this that's fair game he's like that's fair that's fair you're right you're right you're right and then he just doesn't really adhere to it so it's like he's just, just fucking jerking off at that point his call center job you know something that pays minimum wage uh building that uh podcast or abandoning the twitch and everything like that and fully focusing on re-engaging youtube whatever it might be man that brings you to at least i mean that's been the plan <sighs> over the last 30 days you, you no, it hasn't. literally what i've been doing over the last 30 days since this documentary dropped and you can see it's paying off Right, like uh, my numbers continue to grow, my income is continuing to grow. I, 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 I it's just so funny because from what I can tell, this Caleb Hammer guy goes in and he gets people's information and he probably pre looks at some of the stuff to get an idea of it, and then he does like an hour or two hour podcast on it. And like, so I don't know how much of the editing he does, but I'm assuming on top of other work. So it's like you're he's investing two, three, four hours per episode into this, and he's pumping out multiple. It seems a week. Um, my name is Rachel Justine. Oh, dude, I fucked um, up. I'm 27. Uh, he's pumping out like it seems like three, two or three oh, oh, episodes a week, and Boogie's putting 10 minutes every three days into his stuff. It's like push him harder on that. I'm doing exactly that. You know, all of this ancillary stuff is ancillary. It's, it's, uh, I have it all in a, a link dump. And other than live streaming once a week, just for the fun of it, because I enjoy doing it, I don't live stream. I don't, I yeah. put my time where the cash cow is. And that cash cow is YouTube's ad revenue. And my favorite part about that is I'm you can literally double dip like everybody else does. And you know this. So, like, do that, double dip in it. Like, <laughs> dude, I don't care. I do some kind of reaction or have this editor that you supposedly uh, pay. Have this editor like, like uh, do some kind like have edit stuff down, like do a reaction and have them edit down, like to a degree that you feel comfortable with. There's like so many different options that you can make. Like, okay, I'm not making money off the back of my audience. They don't have to buy a T-shirt. Mm -hmm. They don't have to engage with the sponsor. They don't have to you buy a channel they membership. They don't have to donate anything on Twitch. All they have to do is put the video on, click it, watch it, and I make money. And that's as simple as that. A lot of the criticisms uh, that I personally saw, and you can refute them if you wish. This is just there's too much information online. Sure, yeah, it's yeah. impossible. So, but a lot of what I saw is again like uh, the pity party, sympathy feast over the last few years sure. and maybe that turns the people off and maybe it's to get people to give some money i'm not sure are we done with that absolutely yeah my, i've been done with it for a while good so he wouldn't be done with it if it worked <laughs> he, okay we just i learned even... very quickly my decision to talk about my finances last year mm -hmm. that that is not how i'm going to get out of this hole uh to beg right the, 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 like i told you like he he, he didn't change his mind because it's like pathetic what he's doing he changed his mind because it didn't debate didn't work uh, yeah. and i i cannot nor should i want my existing audience or my pre-existing audience to want to dig me out of this hole. Now, it's a whole other thing if I create content that they want to pay for, so right? Do that. If yes. I give yes. value, you value, give value. Most YouTubers give value. Mm -hmm. That was the thing that I was missing from my video last year. I, I asked for something, but I offered nothing in exchange. That was the idiocy of it. No, you said, uh, maybe I'll make some private content if you guys give me money on my Patreon instead of just making the stuff first. But um, and, and I'm at a point where I can't ask. Oh, but you were talking about the things people who used to work at McDonald's have to go through. And I found it funny because yesterday somebody came in yelling at my manager and berating her. Yeah, shit's fucked up, dude. For anything up front from my audience, yeah. nor yeah. should I, nor do I want to, right? I have to deliver a product yeah. that they enjoy. And if they enjoy it, oh then they can catch me on the back end if they so choose. I hate the way he talks. Like, yeah, no shit. Fucking do it. It's It just reminds me of like those two fucking like hustle. It literally, it just like literally the way he talks. Reminds me of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, where he's like, yeah, what we got to do is this and the blah, blah, blah. And then they just end up scamming people. Like, it's like, just go fucking do it. Stop debating on these simple concepts. Choose to. And I don't blame a single person who chooses never.
to to do that, right? Because I think it's just another angle. Yeah, I don't blame people for blah 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 blah. blah. It's an angle. It's just trying to make it seem like he's a reasonable, smart, nice guy. It's for bullshit. Fuck off. You said boogies burnt that bridge. I fully understand and respect that. Yeah. Because I don't know. The thing I think I learned from the internet more than anything. Uh, I was playing. Oh, I don't know. I heard it called. I'm just a small bean the other day. Do you know if you heard this right? Um, growing oh, up for me, it was you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? I was being Jerry Smith from Rick and Morty, if you're familiar with that character. It's a character that was intentionally pathetic in the hopes that other people wouldn't harm them. What I've learned very quickly from that, uh, no, very quickly, but uh, I've learned harshly is that when you make yourself out to be a victim. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? You're, you weren't playing a character. You are pathetic. <laughs> okay. Cool beans, man. I don't care. This whole thing is so fucking dumb. I just it's just interesting to watch him like desperately try to rewrite what's going actually going on around him. It's just it's just fucking crazy to like listen to he's just to rewrite like the history of the world around him. Ah, I was just playing the character of Jerry Smith. You realize that that makes you even more pathetic cuz now you're just telling people that you're basically just like grifting for attention or that's what you were doing. Like you were pretending to be pathetic. You're not. There's no pretend. It's just, oh my god, dude. I just want to light my fucking scrotum on fire. The people that like to victimize people will choose you to victimize. I'm curious. Uh, do you f what? victim the people that harshly is that when you make yourself out to be a victim, the people that like to victimize people will choose you to victimize. I'm curious. Uh, do you find the yourself throughout your life uh, playing justification games? Certainly. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, it just might be something worth escaping in the future is just instead of trying to justify like every last uh, last thing, a reason for everything happening, reason why I did this, reason why uh, I made this choice is because of this whole winded thing of a character I'm trying to do and all this stuff. Well, in instead therapy, of just justification. Well, well, in therapy, we learn why we do things, right? Um, I know why. I, mm -hmm. During the Frank Castle situation, when a man was battering down my door calling me a, uh, the N-word and an F-A-G-G-O. You mean when, the, when, when you begged him to come there and called him pussy when he didn't? Like tea and, and all the I know why I opened that door. Yeah. Right? I did it because I wanted to stand up for myself. Mm -hmm. I did it because you shouldn't be on my... Oh, shut the fuck up. Yes, he should. You begged him to go there. Of course he's going to show up, you idiot. So I hate This guy just fucking rewrites history. He's such a pussy. Oh, he showed up. and he, uh, You begged him to. You told him to. You called him a pussy if he didn't show up because he was in the area. You're like, you're a pussy if I don't show up to my fucking house. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. I did it because this is a transgression. Does the law care? No, it's not an excuse. I broke the law. I pay, but it's important to understand why him. I did these things. Yeah, and but I just because you're a fucking loser. What are you talking about? You begged him to show up, and then now you're playing victim. Five is different than. No, it doesn't justify it at all. My God, I, I, this is why I did it. I need to have an understanding of why this, so that I hopefully won't do something like that ever oh again. God. Well, the right. only reason I ask if that's been a part of your even the way that he frames these things is that if he's the fucking victim, he's not. Fuck up. Shut the up. Life, this is because I don't crazy. want us to be justifying things in the future. Oh, you absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. In terms of, like, I really want you to get to a good place, man. I, the minimum you need to bring in in order to live your minimum needs with current debts. So get rid of the debts is different. Actually, we're, we're paying off Let's the talk debts. about what happens if we get rid of the debts. Yeah, yes, exactly. We, except for the more. He did it because it was an ego blow. Yeah, exactly. He had to do it or else he would look like a fucking pussy, the coward. So Mortgage? Sure. Then we need $5,203 to survive on a monthly basis. That means you need to bring in 10000 uh, ten thousand four hundred seven dollars on a monthly basis, uh, for like recommended budgeting purposes. Okay. Recommended. It's obviously going to be tighter than that until you can get there. If you can get there again, that's great because I mean can. that's one hundred and twenty four thousand dollars a year. Ten thousand a month. Yes, it's because your needs. We want to shoot for that being about fifty percent. That is difficult. That's usually more difficult in places like New York City or L A where rent's going to right. Be, sure, it's, it's more, a little easier in Arkansas. Yes, maybe not Northwest Arkansas, but so. Yeah, I can't speak for that yeah. place specifically, but that's typically what we try to shoot for: fifty percent going to our needs, thirty percent to our wants, twenty percent for investing. Sure. Okay. Now. If I were in your shoes, is to shoot for that ten thousand four hundred dollars as quick as I can, doing whatever it is, whether it's in content creation, whether it's a drive-through work, whether it's anonymous call center. And I know, I know, we, we already talked about having the name out there and just you know different things. But even if again we can try the more anonymous thing or applying for jobs like it's a full-time job, right. might be a consideration. If the if, if things don't play out, maybe we give it. This is going to last for another five months if no more income brings in. Sure. I say if we hit there, nice edit, and we're, we've no longer gotten to the place where we can, you know, survive. Right. Obviously, liquidating cards might be the option then, but we're, at that point, I think we've proved this is not working. Right. At that point, I say we try to scrape together any and every job we can, and we're not above any and every job at that point. Right. I mean, I, I think a lot of people have this idea, and I, oh I get that the documentary definitely painted this picture, right? I think a lot of people don't understand what I'm willing to do to survive, but mm -hmm. I hope- You're willing to do nothing. <laughs> it's not the documentary, the documentary didn't paint a picture. You haven't increased your workload or work output.
on YouTube. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That you know that I literally drove across the country with an injury. Yeah. To, to be here to do this. Oh, what was the injury? You dr Oh, my God. You got into a vehicle that does all the work and you came here? Wow. What a fucking champ. This guy's incredible. That's right. Yeah, you did. So yeah. I'm willing to eat as much. You know, did you know that Kurt Angle won an Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck and you're sitting here telling me that you had an injury and that you got you managed to get into the car that you're holy fuck. What a champion. This guy, dude, sign this guy up for the fucking Olympics, in my opinion. Holy shit. This guy's fucking badass. Oh, my God. Holy shit. This guy's not willing to do any an iota of work. He's lying. He's full of shit. Out of fucking control. Bad, bad, yeah, bad foot. Oh, I couldn't drive with my bad foot. Bro, shut the fuck up. I went to work. I used to... I, I remember I shattered... like I just shattered. I broke my toe pretty fucking bad. You know what I did? I went to work the next day. Like, it's normal. It's not... It's something that people do pretty often. Like, it's... Because you really can't do anything for a broken toe. Like, you just kind of... It just kind of... Just, 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 just happens. Things just happen. Like, you don't really do anything for it. My point is, is like, what are you talking about? You're acting like this is, oh, I drove across the country with an injury. Oh, my God. How fucking tragic for you. What a struggle your life is. Holy fuck. To, to, to do this, right? Are you willing to stop eating $900 at McDonald's and start uh, with some no, money? I'd love to. That. And it's something I actively okay. have tried to do my whole life. I get that. Yeah, but right. at this point, it's like not a choice. It's right. really not. I respect that. Um, most that. addicts would tell you that, you know, I, I don't, it's, I'm not making excuses, but it's the reality of the situation, right? It's like going, this is what I'm, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't acknowledge that he has a food addiction in a way to change the food addiction. He acknowledges it in a way to use it and weaponize it as an excuse for his shitty behavior. This is just boogie one oh fucking one, dude. It's all it is. Eugenia Cooney and saying, you need to put on 50 pounds. Right? Okay. Of course what, she does. Of course she does. What about accountability? The people surrounding you? I mean, they're doing their best. Well, you know? What is, what is that? Look Nobody like? can hold your, your toes to the fire. Man. I know, but is there enablement? No, the opposite. Quite okay. the opposite. Right? I have people. Uh, obviously, they're enabling you. What the fuck are you talking about? You got a child, a girlfriend, so that she can't really give you pushback. Like, that's the whole thing. It's one of the biggest fucking issues, right? Like, if you want to date somebody young, that's fine. I guess she's a legal adult, but she's clearly, like, has some fucking mental issues uh, based on what he says to us, you know, and he's sitting there mentally manipulating her and fucking having her perform on camera. Uh, and crying but like you have you don't have somebody that you truly respect and can give you pushback and can fuck with you and push your buttons in a way that has like authority over you like that's why you marry somebody your age because they typically will be that person like my wife has authority over me and i have authority over her but that's why you should date somebody your age is at your same level of like maturity oh you know, maybe your maturity level isn't that high i don't know so like but you don't do that. So nobody's actually giving you accountability around you in any capacity. What are you talking about? This is a lie. Well, we're like, let me cook healthy meals, cheap meals here. Okay. But I know where McDonald's is, man. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, this show comes. They deliver to your house, right? Like if in, a, in a weak moment, I'm going to choose McDonald's. In this yeah. show, I can do finances. I'm obviously not an addiction person. All yeah. I can say on the finances, if we're not willing to change that, then as the title of the video suggests, you're going to die in poverty. I mean, like I said. If you don't stop, you, you have to stop. Yeah. It's, it's, it's you stop or you die in poverty because right now it's, it's insane. It adds an additional, what, 20% to your budget, 15% to your budget. And we can't even survive in yeah. the needs. Yep. It's, it's just really no longer a choice. So you're choosing at this point, even yes, addictive tendencies. I get it. And that is not my thing to talk about. Um, if you choose to do that after this conversation, you, you've chosen just giving up and just, well, like, I mean, after this conversation, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing for the last 30 to 45 yeah. days, which is work as much as I humanly possibly can. How many hours? Do you think that I'm putting is? in like a good 40 hour work week now. No, you're not. No, no, you're not. No, you're not. 40 hour work week. Where, where the fuck are you putting in a 40 hour work week? What the fuck is he talking about? This guy's a fucking goblin. A 40 hour like work week for what you stream once a week, work? which doubtful. And then you're putting, what is this? Hey guys, 15 minute video. Uh, by the way, he's not his own editor, so this is 15 minutes worth of work. Hey, guys, that's th that's 23 hours ago. Hey, guys, here's a video from five days ago, eight minutes. Here's a video from six days ago, five minutes and 45 seconds. Here's a video from seven days ago, 10 minutes and 28 seconds. Even if I'm being f super charitable and saying that you're recording triple the time, you're working a fucking half an hour a day, and then you do, what, two hours for a fucking podcast. Like, okay, that's the most work that you ever do. What the fuck is he talking about? Oh, I work a 80 hour, 40 hour work week. No, you do not. What are you saying? This dude is a little fucking goblin, dude. What the f 
what are you talking about? Like, he just lies. He's a delusional asshole. You work like an hour a week. That's what's so fucking insane. Okay. Well, I think that when we can't survive, I think that needs to be 60 to 80. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. You don't, yeah, but that's, you don't that's work 40. And no, it's not. Like, at, at, at the end of the day, oh my God. again, no excuses. You know, people think I don't want to get a real job. You I'm don't. Fellow, man. Right? Shut I got, the I've, fuck I've been up. I've been since 2005. Mm -hmm. Right? I can't work hard. I physically, I can't do physical labor. That's not yeah. an option, right? I think so now, call it home. You could actually, you know, do YouTube work. This guy, the fact that he even said that he works 40 hours a week triggered me beyond fucking doubt. Triggered me in, into like the most unrealistic rage I've ever been in. This is insane. Uh, again, right. service So now center. they have to Google that I'm a felon yeah. who beats his wife and because that's what happens when you Google my name. Mm -hmm. Go do it right oh now. Oh my God, yeah. dude. They have to hire that person. Yeah. Th those, They're not going to. Those are the positions where those more, uh, ah, what's the word? People with records uh, do tend to find more opportunities. Right, but are they also disabled, right? Like, uh, like I'm See, saying- He's like, yeah, people with records can still find jobs. Well, but aren't they disabled? Do they have as many, do they have as many oppression points as I do? Well, this would hopefully be work at home. Right. I'm just giving one option. <clears throat> I'm but, sure, but I'm just saying like, if that job crosses my lap tomorrow, I'll take it. Have I actively looked for it? Absolutely. If I just I don't think it, it exists. We, we, shall we? Yeah. Our good friend LinkedIn. You know, th this is a wide variety. Well, this is giving this is giving way too many for, way too much variety. Let me let's just, just do customer service. Because I did call center and it was doing like real estate agent. It was like the fifth one down. Right. Does that make sense? There you go. I would apply to these these billion trillion quadrillion jobs. I have. I have. I'm, I'm telling you. No, I've done has. this exact thing. No, I've applied has. for all of them. No, I've applied for over a dozen. He hasn't applied for jobs. He would get callbacks on them. People, which, what are you talking about? And I kept oh, getting told nothing. the same thing, which is, dude, you're unemployable. Yeah. So even no, for the people don't. that are very employable, though, yeah. applying for a dozen jobs, you likely won't right. get a single job. I, yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> you know how easy it is to apply for a dozen jobs on LinkedIn? Uh, it's not. A, it certainly doesn't take 40 hours of a work week. It takes you like 15 minutes, if that. I uh, applied to a dozen jobs. Okay. Cool. What is that? It's on fucking Indeed or whatever he said. I don't know. What are you talking about? Okay. All, like, I had that headhunter yeah. tell me off camera. Mm -hmm. Man, there's nothing we're going to be able to do for you. That always a fucking excuse. Shut the fuck up, dude. I honestly wish he succumbed to his thoughts in 2018. This is fucking unbearable. I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't. His thoughts of wanting to go to McDonald's is what I'm talking about. You did the, Shut up. I fucking hate how much he lies. He's such a fucking baby. Uh, guys, this is actually my Jerry Smith uh, character. Uh, I know I don't do all these things that I say I do. Everything's my original character when I get called out. Fucking incredible. Insane. You need to focus on the YouTube thing. Okay. Like, I, like, oh I, if God. a headhunter... You, that's what they said. Your headhunter said, uh, you know, Boogie, you should focus on YouTube. We, I think that's the best pathway for you. As someone of the age that you should be dating... As someone of the age that you should should be dating, She's telling me that these people aren't going to hire me, I trust her. You think about it was too much? I don't care. I just simply don't. I have no respect for this person. He's fucking insane. Like he's, I have, I have, I have fucking no respect for this person. He's such a waste of fucking space. No, I get it. I get it. Oh, I sorry just... guys, that's my Andy Kaufman bit. That's just my. Oh, hey guys, well, where's my Jerry the King Lawler? <laughs> where's that guy? Where's my Jerry the King Lawler? When you need him, am I right, fellas? I struggle with the conversation. If we decide it's impossible, then it's it's impossible regardless. Well, I understand that, but um, when if I if you told me that I need to start flapping my wings and fly out here, <laughs> right? We would agree that that's not a possibility. She's probably right that you can't get most desirable jobs. Not desirable jobs. Anything. Any dude. I was. Can, how desirable is it to cold call teachers about a union and get screamed at by them? Because that's the job I applied for. Yeah. And got told they wouldn't give it to me. How desirable is that job? Not what? thrilling. No. And that's that was the most desirable job I applied for. Okay. And they wouldn't offer me that one. And I had a friend in management at that company. So you're not willing to try. Uh, this am I trying to am I trying am I willing to try doing something that is clearly not going to happen? No. Uh, now if I get the felony sealed, which is going to cost money, but at the end of my second year of probation, which I <sighs> think is this year, how much will it cost? I don't know. Okay. It might thousands? be. Say it's cost money, but you don't know how to do this guy. But I don't take my shit. <laughs> Got it. But if I get that Fuck sealed. This is a whole other conversation. That that might be a very oh, worthy investment oh, 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 pulling from the uh, the Magic the Gathering. But until March, that's not a conversation we can even start. Uh, well, March is coming up pretty quick. Um, so I worked. Uh, well, there's there's like fucking eighty year olds with like back problems that can barely stand that work at Walmart. You can go be a greeter, go sit in a chair or something. 
Go work at uh, go work at like Lidl or whatever it's called. Lidl, whatever the fuck those assholes call it over in that shit country. <laughs> Do something. It's like senior year of college. I was in between a couple jobs and my dad was like, why aren't you working? You need to go work this job. And it was like this odd jobs all around. And it connected people who like needed work, right. needed work. And the people that I was like moving mattresses with into like newly built uh, college apartment complexes, right. they were all felons. And they were like people who just couldn't get work anywhere else. Yeah, but I can't move a mattress. That's all like a problem. <laughs> there, was oppor- there was still opportunity that they saw. Yeah, manual labor is get. generally pretty lenient on that kind of thing. Yeah. But now, of course, I can't stand that, up. that was just an example, though. That's right. just yeah. an example, though. Yeah. I'm just saying if we refuse to search for because we believe it doesn't exist, then it's not going to exist. Right. <sighs> well, when I'm getting told by professionals it doesn't exist, yeah, I listen to the professionals. Yeah, and sure. that makes me... You talked to one person after telling them that you're a pedophile. I don't think that that's exactly the, the most accurate reading, but okay. Well, I, that's I don't I mean. know. I, I wasn't there for the conversation. Yeah. I wasn't there for the conversation. It's hard for yeah. me to just fully... I, I don't know. I wasn't yeah. there. I wish you'd put it in the doc, if I'm being honest with you. Okay. I mean, we did. It says right there. Management would not give us approval because they wouldn't. Yes, but it's, it's all well, there. from there. It made it look like right. because you said, well, you yeah, Google me. I'm well, a pedophile. Nice. And I'll tell you my financial plan, and it might be a stupid one. Okay. But because I've seen traction in the last 30 to 45 days, mm-hmm. the more I work, the more income I bring in. You don't, you still haven't increased your workload. So yeah, the more that I, the works. more that I make YouTube videos, the more that I put effort into the editing, the more that I put effort into being an entertainer. You don't edit, you don't edit, you said. The more money I make it. And that seems to be more valuable than chasing after a dream that professionals are telling me doesn't exist okay right so then why don't you, you can do it then fucking do it you're not doing it you're posting five minute videos every three days okay. this is viable professionals is, is just that one conversation you had i've talked to several hiring people yeah okay. I just, oh, just give me their first name right off the right off your dome ah oh, this guy's gonna take that give me their first name like right off the fucking top of your head that hasn't talked to professionals so i just have to trust you on that i've applied for several jobs in the last year dozen uh, roughly yeah, that's you, you've done 15 minutes of uh, job applications in a year. Wow, that's fucking impressive, Boogie. Holy shit, dude. This guy is insanely worked so hard. It's like a half hour work on LinkedIn. Uh, again, when you get shut down by several people doing hiring mm-hmm. and you get told this. That's not how it works. He's like so full of shit. When you get shut down, shut up. That's not how it works, okay? When you apply for something like on Indeed or um, whatever, Okay, they don't shut you down instantaneously. You submit your application and then they just won't say anything if they don't call you back or anything. It's not like this formal process with like, oh, sorry, you got shut down unless you go in for the interview. So he keeps saying he gets shut down. You're not getting shut down. They're just not taking the application. There's a t- big difference. No one's shutting you down. Same message, including by a headhunter. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, you're oh. a felon who has all these terrible rumors about you. Who's going to hire you to be working in your company? Oh also, you're God. disabled. Also, you have no education. Also, you have no... They would never tell you that. That's fucking illegal for them to tell you that. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm pretty sure it's like considered job discrimination for them to explicitly tell you about these things. Like, oh, we can't do it because you have a YouTube rap shit, blah, 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 or whatever bullshit. There's no fucking way. Nobody's reaching. Nobody has a time of day to want to communicate to him any of these things. Nobody's saying these to you. You talk to one person where you admittedly hammed it up and you said dumb shit like you're a fucking pedophile. No shit she's going to pass on you because you're a creep. You're a weirdo, man. No work history. Mm-hmm. Right? I don't know. That wasn't like seen- a serious thing. You weren't taking it seriously from the get. Yo, you built a multi-million dollar company. These companies don't see that. No, no, they're not looking for somebody that runs their own business. They're looking for somebody that can make them money. I wasn't, I wasn't saying it just like that. All I'm saying is reframing and resume building, interview skills with, with everything you just said that's against you, except for the following stuff. But you said the lack of education, lack of uh, work history, and stuff like that. Reframing to what you actually have accomplished because you have accomplished I've never been a lot. Kind of lying, man. That's not lying. You have accomplished a lot. You had a multi. You have a multi. Well, I've business. never been a, a, a. I've never been a fan of going in and, and fudging my resume to make it That's look. Not palpable. Oh my god! Now he has values. Oh, I've never been a fan of like fudging my resume. You know, I have so many values, like desperately begging my audience and making my entire career out of just being a fucking making an ass of myself. Like, oh yeah, you know what? I believe that boogie. You're such a morally virtuous fucking person. Like, holy shit. Dude, I cannot believe this guy's such a good guy. That's what, like, that's the expected. Oh, this guy's such a good guy. He has fucking morals. This guy, this is the guy with the moral values. I knew that. I, you know, I, when I first saw him, I knew he's the one with all the, all the moral values. Uh, are you sure he just doesn't want to do the resume and he's making an excuse? Who, who would have thought? Either. I don't have an education, but it's because why I, I, I chose to learn abroad or something. I was talking like about that, your you know. work skills. You've brought, you've actually built something successful. These companies don't see that as something. If you find me a job. Uh, so you're saying you don't put it on your resume. <laughs> so what's your resume? Nothing. Do you have nothing on your resume? Cause you would say something along the lines of like, Oh, I was like a very successful, 
uh, personal business. You don't even have to say multi-million dollars. You should. You wouldn't want to. Like that doesn't even make sense to say that because they would say they would consider you overqualified. But like when since you have a gap in work history, you'd be like, oh well, I you know I worked for myself in like a very in like a lucrative business um, that has an expiration date of social media management and where I did X, Y, and Z. You literally just lied. Um, you literally, you literally just lied about how you work 40 hours a week, but you feel like you don't want to fudge your resume. What the fuck are you talking about? Who oh, believes pays this? as much as putting the same hours into my YouTube channel yeah. as that. I'll take that job. Yeah, and yeah, I'll yeah. Do it as well, well. I mean, you do, you do 40 hours a week, right? Yeah. No, but we might need to do 60 to survive, which might require 20 somewhere else. Well, it'd be smart to put that 20 hours into the, this business, the one I'm building that I keep hundred percent instead of keeping 5% and kicking I the other nine. Bro, what the fuck is he talking about? So in if I'm an idiot. What is he talking? I just hate him. You think that twenty so percent will, will, or that twenty hours a week, that extra fifty percent in labor is going to equate to an extra fifty percent in revenue? If yes, then f I'd do it absolutely. I don't know. It's I the math would have to work, right? Right. And I don't think most jobs are going to make that math work. Most twelve dollars an hour jobs, which is minimum wage in Arkansas, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think now. I think it might be less, but it, it's supposed to have twelve eventually, right? Brings an extra nine sixty dollars a week. That at least means us to our minimum. Yeah. And minimum is better than draining our savings. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'd rather put that hours into my business. Yes, and, no, and no, no. I'm not against that. I'm just yeah. saying as long as the value actually, if the math works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Right. Have you uh, worked with any uh, services, by the way? There, uh, I can't speak for Arkansas. I can't speak for the city. There's mm -hmm. local services. There's uh, a wide variety of services who focus on the rehabilitation aspect of people's lives. Now, you did not go to prison, but you do have a felony. Sure. That helps to connect felons with workplace opportunities. There are services out there. Have you worked with any of them yet? It's ne it's never come across my table. I, again, my, well, our, no, our no, it's not is, about coming across your table. Well, what about you going across their well, table? Well, my plan is to <laughs> seal the not. felony and, and try to move forward from there. And that happens in, in three months, provided I can afford it. Yeah. So I I, I, I don't know. I, that's so you're I've never heard of that before. So I I don't. Know. So then just wait three months and then go get a real job. But of course, it's just an excuse. You don't really believe it, so it doesn't really matter. What the fuck is that gonna mean? Know if it even exists in my area, but it might. What would they offer? I don't think they'll offer any financial. A lot of things I'm seeing are Texas resources. Again, I can only, I can't speak for that, yeah. but right. Well, as far as I know, I might not need that in three months. I but if it turns out in three months that I won't be able to get this, then sealed. you'd be willing to. Yeah, of course, sure. Okay. No, I would. Yeah, of course. Of course. Again, it's just if, if math works, dude. If you can bring it in on YouTube, if we can get back to ten thousand bucks a month again. Yeah, I'm all yeah, about. I, it. I think incredible. The, the biggest mistake I ever made was in 2020 after my nervous breakdown. I stopped working. <sighs> yeah, um, you still don't work I, now, I so should have had all working. of this money. I still could, and, and I not just. 2020 when every other youtuber um what really happened he didn't have a nervous breakdown he got dumpstered because he's a pussy and like he has the dumbest shit like he just does, says dumb shit all the time like went to work i had to get into intensive therapy instead mm -hmm. i had to reorganize my brain oh, yeah right um and i had, I I had to Don't take remember. mushrooms with a shaman full of cancer holy fuck i'm coming it's incredible stuff all right wrong was a good Perfect. use of my time um, I came out a different person, uh, but I, 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 again, I think my biggest answer is I just need to go back to making as many videos as I can, considering yeah. my, my scheduling, my health. Um, what do you mean your health? Dude, you take, you have fucking diabetes, consider it by schedule. Your schedule of what? Doing nothing? Your health of what? You take pills because you're fucking fat as shit. Yeah, same here. You can work. There are fucking bus drivers and truck drivers that are on the verge of losing their fucking legs because of poor circulation. And you're sitting here blaming your health. Like, you're such a doo-doo bitch. <laughs> I fucking I dislike you so much. You are such a fucking waste. It's so frustrating. Holy fuck. It's, insul it's just insulting to actual people. He's just such a liar. He just needs to be. He just needs to stumble down a small, us like three steps into somebody's house. That's all that needs to happen. Okay, in Minecraft. <laughs> okay, and, and really put my effort into my business. So I, I do concede. I mean, if if the professionals told you that, I mean, again, <sighs> if that's what they said. But again, I, I do believe it. they're all telling me it becomes a whole other ball game in March. Yeah, you know, hire a lawyer, spend a couple thousand dollars, get this completely off my record. No longer shows up in a background check. Then he's just never even going to do it anyways. Maybe I can't afford it. <laughs> he likes he likes having the excuse. I think Boogie likes it. He likes having like he likes to be a victim. That's why he begged Frank Castle to show up to his house, and then he cried when he showed up to his house. He 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 likes being a fucking victim. He loved it. He's like, oh my god, this guy. People for the once in such a long time thought I was the victim. I fucking loved it. This guy tried to fucking come to my house after I begged him.
All we have to do is deal with the other obstacles. My favorite thing is, is always to punch back against certain mindsets and try to push yeah. people, push people to better themselves. So that's, this is what I try. Well, Caleb, like, just punch them. Just actually punch them. Just do that. It'll be so much better for everybody involved. Like I said, I promise you, I'm not giving up hope. If yeah, it, like yeah, if it comes down to around. my YouTube channel is no longer making me money anymore, yeah, yeah. and I, I literally have to steal for a living, I'll do it. Well, let's how the fuck are you going to steal? What do you? How? What are you going to steal? What do you? Do you really? You realize that stealing usually requires like moving quickly. What are you going to? How are you going to? What are you going to steal? What are you talking about? Let's not do that. No, but I would. I, I'm telling you, if I have to steal bread to feed my family, I would be that guy. Wow, you're such a fucking brave guy. He said, "Dude, this is how you know Boogie's such a moral guy, virtuous guy." I'm just like Aladdin. I would steal fucking bread, dude. Yeah, right. I will do whatever it takes to survive. Right? He beat the gastric bypass surgery. Yeah, true. He did beat that. Now I will and say certainly that. getting a job like every other human has ever had, or the jobs I've had. I work security. I've worked. I washed dishes at a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. I've worked. Right. I have no problem with working. If the, yes, you do. If job fits me. And it's going to keep my bills paid. It's going to keep my health insurance so that I don't die. Mm -hmm. Obviously going to do it, man. Obviously. Um, I think one thing that would help not pushing someone to get work. And I know there's probably background in a lot of different. I don't even know if I believe he pays $800 a month in fucking medical insurance. I don't know why. I just feel like does he, does he really do that? You're on disability and you're telling us you pay $800 a month. Mm, I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I believe that. I feel like he's saying he's compounding that and the meds he takes that he's said that he has a deductible on. So I don't even think he pays that much. And story. Uh, if your significant other is able to help split the cost of the place they're living, that sure. will help with your thing. I do want to talk about before we wrap it up, just, you know, okay, say you make it 10 years, like you said, I hope it's much longer. You know, I really do. Let's just let's just go off that I 10, uh, the 15 year arc. Sure. What does that look like to you? We, we've done YouTube for 15 years. So we're halfway through that. Through I don't know. That arc. I, what, 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 does, what does the next 15 look like? I mean, here's what my life has looked like so far, right? I was almost when I was 20, right? I was crowd surfing. I was breaking into buildings up at the University of Arkansas. Statue of Limitations has gone up on that, by the way. But I was sleeping in, in buildings that they were building still. I want to hear about your future. The right, it's like actually crashing his body into these things. What is he talking about? Things, well, not saying. your bad We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Okay. Okay. But when I was homeless, I wouldn't have told you that three years later, I would be running a, a small business running web design, right? Sure. Um, and then later while I was running that business, I wouldn't have told you I'd be disabled soon after. Right. And when I was disabled, I wouldn't have told you I'd be a, a YouTuber who made $1.3 million across a decade. Mm -hmm. right? Plus more sponsorships probably. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. I think I, it was probably closer to like two, I, right? Probably, probably as close. much as 2.5. Yeah. I would say across everything I've made for close to $2.5 million in 10 years. Incredible. Now. Right. I cannot tell you what 2.5, what, 10 years, Is that 2 million. What the fuck the future looks like, but I'm always hopeful. <sighs> One of my favorite movies, cast away, I right? Don't care. Um, just gotta stay alive, man. That's yeah. it. Just gotta stay because you never know what the type to bring in tomorrow. I do agree I with that, but what about plans? We my are plan currently away. right now is I'm taking it day by day. Every therapist will tell you this what you gotta do. Yeah. Uh, my current plan is to continue to throw myself at my existing business because my existing business is still profitable. Mm. And I'm looking for that next opportunity. I've looked at reselling on whatnot as a as a possibility. Mm -hmm. I've I've looked at um trying to find a small business loan and open something in the area. My, I've talked to a friend about doing it. Nobody would ever give you that loan. You don't work. You don't do anything. Why would they give you that loan? A, a smasher. <clears throat> um Oh, yeah. employment. I, like I want to have a smash room. He sounds like a fucking, he sounds like a kid that just got out of college. It's like trying to like, what's, what could my dream job possibly be? Maybe I could do a smash room. Oh, that would be so cool, dude. <laughs> Who humors these dumb fucking ideas? Who humors them? Like the kid that you're dating, of course. The person, sorry, it's an adult, legally. But the, but the, the immature person that you're dating is giving you like, like, yeah, Boogie, that's so good. You should totally do that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, honey, did you do anything today? Oh, I, my, my, I, my fat, my fatness made me feel so sad that I didn't get anything done. Oh, you're right. Everything, you're a fucking victim. Like, oh my God, your life is so fucking hard, Boogie. Like, oh shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I said, it, 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 come March, there might be a job out there that suits me and that suits my needs. And I'm still going to look for that. All I know is that right now, when I get home from this, I go home and I film videos and I live stream and yeah. I do what I can to entertain the audience that I currently have. And when that audience is, is gone, I hope I find a new one. You know, it's another option. I, I don't want this. This is, this is more last case. Yeah. We take it. We, we sell the house, have the hundreds of thousands in equity uh, about. Let's see when Boogie last streamed. Oh my God. I fucking like missed. Jesus. Christ. Shut up. Let's see videos. 13 days ago. Wow. You're really putting you're really putting in that work. Really putting that work in, Boogie. Holy fuck. For two hours. Just a lot on my mind. Yo, shut up. Two hours. That's how two hours. One hour. One and a uh, two hours. Twenty two minutes. Wow. Where's the forty hours a week going into? Where's the where's the forty hours? It's certainly not going into streaming. 
uh, you've streamed two hours a week. Well, overall, you're probably streaming for about an hour a week over the past month, not even. <laughs> and his five-minute videos do not take 39 hours to, to bake. And if they do, he just sucks at his job. He doesn't record his own content or edit it. So what is he talking about? About 250, 300. That's true. He did help a prostitute not do prostitution anymore. He is a hero for that one. 250, 300,000 hours of equity. I can and then instead be of your hero, baby. In rent, we get like a one bedroom, pay like 1,100. Now, obviously that sucks. That's hard. Obviously it has to be ground level, but I'll it saves you, you 1,000 a month. I'll do you even better. Okay. Um, the plan is to move that out of Northwest Arkansas and get to a place where we can where? buy a house for fifty thousand dollars. But you said you had to stay there for the medical providers. Well, it, it, yeah, it, it involves. Hey, <laughs> dude, he's so full of shit, dude. He's so full of fucking shit. Oh, uh, here's the plan. Uh, this is the plan to him. I think that he doesn't understand what a plan is. To him, a plan is uh, talking to his girlfriend about something, and they're like, "That's a cool idea," and then they don't do anything because that's not a plan. That's just them fucking. It's a pipe dream. It's them talking. It's not a plan. Just giving up on that. So you just oh right. It involves on. Yeah. Oh my god! Shut the fuck up. Well, it, it, yeah, it, it involves giving up on that. Uh, it's, look at how quick he is to like he's so his, his brain is so fucking quick, quick to function into victim mode. He what actually happened is Boogie got called in a shit and forgot, and he's like, wait, what can I say? Oh yeah, I'm gonna I want to die. You guys remember back in 2019? That's his fucking defense for everything. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. It's just insufferable, dude. Stop it. So you just oh oh. Right. It involves oh, on it involves like oh, not this necessarily weird. worrying about being near the best possible health care, right? Oh. It'll be a more rural farm, a more rural kind of thing, right? Why do you need to be with the best possible health care? Not for nothing. This doesn't even matter. The reality is, is because you can do act you and ironically, this is absolutely a real thing. Amazon started offering it. You can do appointments online now, but through like webcam. And when it comes to your medications, they will mail it to you. And the United States Postal Service will, doesn't like need a profit. They take a massive losses. So you can live in the middle of bumfuck asshole and they will have somebody out there to deliver it to you. So like what he's saying is already a lie. I need to live here because just shut up. Like why just why lie about dumb shit all the time? But the there's still help at rural Caleb, punch right? in the head. You know what they're doing. Just doesn't need to be cutting edge, right? And <sighs> you can get a house out of the boonies for 50k in Arkansas. Sure, it, it might be closer to her family. Yeah, the alligators will love you, Boogie. You're not. You don't run. You can't move too fast, and you got a lot of meat on you. So I'm sure that it'll be great for the alligators. Um, you know, it sucked to be further away from my support structure there, but that is a possibility. The the the, the, the hell Mary play oh, has always been God. okay. Sell the house. Hopefully clear 230, 250 after closing fees and everything else, and and then take that money and live off and of it. Shove it in my rectum. Reasonable amount, you know. I, I think. What's my financial advice? Uh just jack off all the time. Spend all your money on jacking off, and fucking jerk your ding dong. That if you get out into the small parts of Arkansas, you buy a fifty thousand dollar house. You have a little bit of land. Gives you sixteen thousand dollars a year for the remaining fifteen. So that'd be. You difficult. can live pretty okay in Arkansas for sixteen thousand dollars a year. It ain't great. But I know people who do it. I know, it would be difficult. Yeah. Who do you know? Give me a first name. Give me the first name of the person. I just He just keeps saying that he knows people or he's talked to people or people have told him that. Give me the name of the people. Give me their name. 1388 No more $900 a month fast food at that point. At this point. Yeah, McDonald's becomes the treat at that point for sure. But <laughs> at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the Hail Mary play. So I'm rooting for you. Yeah. Not uh, because... You're a YouTuber, not because you're sitting across the table from me, not because of... Well, because Caleb is falling for the pathetic the pathetic game that he plays, I think, is what, why he's rooting for you. Because he he's, he's falls for it, because he seems like a nice guy. What a beautiful meant meant to be where? History, or because you're on the show, whatever. I'm rooting for you because you're a human being who exists okay. on this planet. I'm rooting for you. I'm wishing you the best of luck, man. I, I'll be honest, I'm, I am scared. Me too, yeah. Um, yeah. I really hope you follow some of the pointers we talked about today. Oh, I'll tell you, the, the first thing I do is debts. the first thing I do is pay off these high interest debts. I never take out another one. <laughs> never. And I had no. And again, the thing I learned from you here today is how bad these were. I had no clue. You had no clue that they were bad. You never look at your debt before. Oh, okay. That they were as bad as they were. That's what I do. Yeah. Uh, wow. And yeah, IRS, and then more self-employment income. We're setting aside some money for taxes. I don't think your tax bill is going to be extraordinary, but uh, no, it'll probably be about another two or three thousand this year. Yeah. Should be reasonable. Should be reasonable. Potentially selling the house. Oh, jeez. Yeah, really, it's an income question, and what you're 
not just willing to do, but what you're able to do as well yeah. because of physical things and because of your background. He, he has, he's able to do plenty. He just doesn't want to. He's a piece of shit. And you're right. The internet search, that's the killer. That's the killer. The, yeah. the felony you conceal, the internet search is impossible. Never going to win. So just have to hopefully get hired by someone who doesn't know how to use the internet. <laughs> well, the goal is to, uh, and, and again, the headhunters I've talked to, the, the employers that I've talked to, yeah. it comes down to finding someone who doesn't care. And we talked about yeah. that when it comes to like- people, I, thought the, I thought that the plan was to wait until you could seal those documents. What happened? Hire felons and people hire whatever, right? The, we are so wait, oh, before he's like, you'll never. They said that he'll never get a job. Now he's saying that they actually told him that they need to find somebody who doesn't care. Okay. Second chance employers, right? Yes. And they he, got, just, he just like this is the thing. Here's the thing when it comes to Boogie. His therapist is worthless if he even has one. And the reason why his therapist is worthless is because people like Boogie cannot benefit from therapy because they, they will sit there and tell the therapist everything that they think the therapist wants to hear over and over and over again. And they act like they've made progress and they haven't. He's unfixable because he's a fucking pussy. That's the thing about therapy is you need to actually be engaged in it. He doesn't, he's full of shit. He doesn't even get any benefit from his therapist because he just tells them what they want to hear and then he stops going. Uh, it's an on and off type of thing. Dude, it's just crazy. Yes. Look at the situation and you just got to find that one sympathetic person. That's why I've never given up on finding yeah, a job. You right? don't understand. They, he has covert narcissism. It's not his fault. They keep telling me how impossible it is. Why'd you only do 12 applications this year so far then? Everybody told me, wait till the felony is sealed. Wait okay, till the okay. felony is sealed. Gotcha. Right? Like, imagine New excuse, by the way. This is the first time he said that. Why wouldn't he have said that before? Early in the conversation. Be like, oh, well, everybody told me to wait for the app for that. Why is it now? This is, again, it's because he's coming up with excuses on the spot. Oh, well, you know, everybody told me this. Why didn't you say that the first time this was prompted? Oh, I don't know. He's full of shit, dude. He's a fucking liar. Imagine you apply for a place right now and the felony's on there. And now they're aware of you. And now you apply six months from now. They saying. remember you're a felon, right? Let's <sighs> do it in six months when the felony's gone and they never even. They happen. remember you're a felon? I. I they, what do you think? They put you in a robust system? That's not how these things work. What the fuck are you talking about? What? You have to know I Whatever, was going, right? They, they now care. all we have to do is find somebody who can deal with my disability and can deal with the fact God. that they Google my name. They see they deal with the fact that you're fucking annoying and obnoxious. That's what they should really fucking deal with. A bunch of rumors. And that's the killer. That's mm -hmm. the killer. They're only rumors because they're not true, right? And you just got to find the person that understands oh, that. Oh, my God. So I, I, no, I don't lose hope that that person exists. Please don't lose hope. Yeah. Please don't lose hope across this entire thing. That's going to be what drives you forward. Let's Please do one hope. more guess. Just one more thing. Across all your investments, not the house, but all everything else you own. Sure. You can survive nine months. <laughs> nine months and the party's over. And think about think about this positively because this is how I'm thinking about it. Okay. okay. I get nine months to try. Now, to we, now we get this, uh, this, this fake... Um, reborn man that we got like we got at the end of the documentary it's like oh let's end on a high note guys think about this i have such a good perspective on this guys think about okay okay to find okay. a work group okay. that gets this income up that that deals with my my physical restraints that deals oh, with you know my mental health maybe they could just hook you up to a fucking strap and use it as a bowling like a wrecking ball or something Shoes. I, I that i can find the right group to bring in this income <laughs> okay. before we have to sell the house yeah you ever think about working more than five minutes a day like that would be fucking insane how many people walk in here that don't have a nine month grace period i'm so blessed to have a nine month grace period to wow he's people. so blessed do you have any dude. final thoughts any final god is anything? with us god is among you know us. i looked into what you were doing here and you're clearly a very entertaining person but at the end of the day uh, in the same way that you like watch that turkey tom video before you talk to him you probably don't know shit about this guy what the fuck he talks about uh I, I learned a lot here today good and uh i i think this i definitely think okay. you're doing a very good thing for people here wow. uh you know why don't you just start sucking them off maybe you can get a couple of dollars from that it sounds like you're already doing it for free so why not just fucking like i enjoy this guy's content too but you're like fucking hardcore blowing his cock off so just gotta fucking commit to the role okay uh you do it in a very entertaining way i'm just and, me <laughs> and i mean you know maybe hey, we butt i'm just doing me brother thing, and that's okay um but I think, I think what you're doing here is much wow. needed. I think the system is well. Thank God that Boogie has given him you his approval because this guy, this is the guy that I would want. Like, wow, like I really need, I really, I really want this guy to be like, wow, this is you are such a cool cat. This is this is you're the coolest cat. That's who I need this from. Okay, any affirming or positive word from Boogie would be worthless to anybody is designed to take advantage of people and not to make myself to be a victim because I don't think it may, took advantage of me. I just made some bad choices, right? But I think there's a lot of people out there who don't have access to this knowledge. They don't have access to this information and what you're doing here 
really helps people like that. Wow, maybe you should and, suck uh, a literal I'm, cock. I'm glad you do it. Deep I'm really glad, glad, fucking glad hard cock. That. Just really suck it that. in. And we've got an official, official knowledge now. It's really that Boogie did drinking. not buy a Tesla. I never did. Oh, really for Mr. Boogie. Drink that. If calm, we can't baby. afford to live and we're spending nine hundred dollars a month eating out, it's zero. If we have IRS debt, uh, the debt category is zero. The emergency fund category, I'd love to give it higher because there's a decent amount of money, but it was all in crypto, volatile, endless Just stupid really crypto. So two. Off without retirement, there's nothing, zero. I'm not considering the crypto and real estate. I'd like to give it higher, but because he honestly just can't even afford the minimum monthly payment right now, I have to give it a five, and that's going to be a Hammer Financial Score one point five out of ten. Make sure to check Whoa, out all the resources linked in the description dude. below, including the best budgeting program ever made thanks to all of our patreon producers all right interesting video i i really just don't want to talk about this guy anymore he's f it fucking pains me uh to talk about this dumb piece of shit so uh, yeah 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 What's crazy is all his magic cards, but he also didn't mention that he has those hentai figures and collectibles and Warhammer 40k <laughs> figurines. I wasn't even like really aware of that. That's fucking crazy.